Hello everyone, how are we all doing on this fine, well, Sunday afternoon for me? I don't know what, what day or time it might be over there, but uh, yeah, I hope everyone's have, enjoying their evening or having a wonderful start to their day. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to be streaming today, but then I was like, you know what? I just want to play more Book of Hours, especially after everything that happened with, uh, with the unexpected arrival of Numa. So yeah, let's just get back into it. <laughs> I want to. I want to do more stuff. I'm. I feel like I've caught the bug. I've caught the itch. I want to see more. Now, the only things I have really changed up in terms of last time, because I initially thought what I was going to do was that I was going to spend some time and be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna organize all my materials, everything like that. Yeah, that was a freaking lie. I never bothered. So instead, um. So instead, all I managed to do was basically find all my uncatalogued books and store them in the bedroom. That's all I've done since last time. But yeah, I will also state, though, one of the interesting things I did notice when I was, um, what's it called? When I went back over the VOD, because I, I'm not going to lie, I did a little bit of meta-analysis on, on, um, on what I did during Numa, just to see if there was something else I should have been paying attention to, especially considering it's like a somewhat rare season. Oh nice, we also finally entered autumn. Um, but but yeah, no, one of the interesting things I did note though was when I when I was when I had um when I had a skill in I think it was when I had put a skill into consider, there was an option I did not see where it was something that of like if you just put in the skill in a soul card there was something you could do which i never investigated because i was always putting the memories in so i'm wondering what that will do my guess is that it might it might be a way to like learn skills because i doubt there's enough like books in the entire library to basically to basically upgrade any one of your skills to nine so maybe that's what numa is numa is just the is a way to basically do skill resets. At least I hope that's the case, because otherwise we're otherwise we are spread way too thin. And I'd hate to do like a second, have to do a whole new second run just to try and get back up to where we're at. Okay, so we've got our fog memory, which I was actually looking into, and it does give me the possibility of investigating a couple of things. So firstly, we've got this book that we're still finishing off. Um, I want to do a little bit of investigation of some of our newer skills, like this narcotics one. What can... What can we craft if we use a bit of nature? Uh, oh, sorry, uh, what is it? Nectar, that's it. Um, we'll grab, we'll grab a quick flower for this. So, I assume there's something very unique to narcotics we can make with that. Let's have a look. Those are cordials, which I think we've made before. If I remember correctly, I think that's what these are. Yeah, those are cordials. Which are not bad. Certainly a good way to turn something use useless, like a vase of carnations, into something else. Um, what else did I want to investigate? I don't remember if we've investigated Menescape Reflections. I have a feeling the answer was no. Let's see. Menescape Reflections with my extra metal. Oh no, we did. It was the Torg's Cleansing, which was not as useful to us. Um, oh yeah, since we get Fog, we could probably also do a little bit of a sneaky check of... What's that other... What was the skill I wanted to check? Well, I mean, Magathene we can always check. Magathene we can always check. We just need something a little extra. Well, we'll just get things moving while I'm while I'm rem while I'm planning, so to speak. Oh yes, and we got the wind rumor back from uh, from Numa. That will be good. A good, it's a good two sky uh, memory. Oh, and and we had our Arab uh, Western Gride, which we should look to fix. I don't think it's going to need too much though, because like. Well, I'm guessing the only way I can restore it is here. Which means I need a... F oh, that means I need a Five Forge drink. What are my options for drinks again? 
Let's do something either edible or or a drink specific. Got any brandy? I feel like I remember we had like some forge brandy or something. We have a lot of random shit in the pantry too. And ham, this amber pumpkin. Evening hours coffee won't do much. I mean, the other question is, could I use something else to help recover this? Like if I were to put in... Uh, what is it? The pyroglyphics? Feel this manatee with bed rest, something suitable drink, and enough of the relevant aspect. So I can put in other stuff in. So I can put in pyroglyphics. Oh, wait, I can't. What can I put in? God, is it none of my skills that have forge? I might need to decamp just to do that. Well, better question first, do we have a bed that can do forge? We do, that's the motley. Okay, so let's decamp then. We'll use one of my Arab to decamp. And that way we can move into another bed and look to heal the Arab. We do also look like we're going to get a new um, something new off the affair, which is going to be good as well. Okay, so what shall we... What shall we chase? What have we not investigated? I feel like I'm investigating most of these, but it's hard to tell what's again going to be the best, the best thing we need. Um, okay, so do we, do we have it again, Miss Kill, or are we still waiting on that? I think we might still be waiting on that. It'd be interesting to see who comes as a result of the affair. Against Vitruvius, a 14th century treatise on esoteric mechanics and parahydraulics by Abbot Reynolds, best known now as a mason architect. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, they've added, like, new icons now? Oh, interesting. So now I guess, like... If there's a certain aspect tied to it, then maybe they've added the icons. Oh, yeah, this is also, like I said, on the day map patch, as the um, as the title suggests. I already had to change a couple of things. I had to change my um, my graphics because I loaded this up because I was previously running on like the highest graphics. I loaded this up this morning just to test. The um, yeah, the frame rate was basically cut in half. It was like a it was like a slideshow. I was not impressed. Yeah, because now I can see it here, yeah, so I guess if in certain places they've added, they've added, like, the icons. So I assume if I was to, say, go to, like, the barber's chair, like, the bar, the, the workstation bar would show the barber's icon, this corner one here. It's actually not a bad quality of life change. Okay, um, this is an omen, right? So I could actually use it with an instrument. Yes, I can use it with an instrument. Question is, do I have... I feel like there was one skill I had that would use an instrument, but I can't remember which one it was. Let me just double check, actually. It could be this one, for all I know. If I use an instrument, I can use the experience as an inspiration for sky-focused music. Yeah, that could be really good. Although I think I was also going to do a little bit of upgrading since this guy would be used to upgrade my first, I think. Because I had... Yeah, because I'm pretty certain you gave me first last time. Yes, you did. I might actually do some upgrading of my first to the next level since I did that with everything else. So we'll take our Sacred Solace. We will go ahead and throw these two in and brighten my post. Focus my inner radiance. Let's go. Oh, so that will get that going. So what? Okay, so maybe this might be a day of just cataloging and dealing with the affairs. Since getting our affairs in order could be could be a wise move. Could be a wise move this early. Um. I mean, the only other question is, can I get a Sky Memory at the moment? Thank God that thank God that Chrome remembers that I was looking up a half a million memories. All the weather memories, the moods, which are, I haven't yet to run into those. 
Possible temporary mem memories. Is wild surmise. But I have a feel, and that's obtained through investigations. The other one would be storm. Wanted that on the same tab. Memory of storm can come from what? Apollo Messias. Blade Tantra can have it too. Have I done the Blade Tantra? I've got the interviews. I don't think I've. I feel like I had. Oh, maybe I didn't. Have... Maybe I don't have the Tantra. Does not bank. Those who do not sleep. Maybe I don't have something yet that can get the storm. There's also a 10 Sky book that has it. Do I have a. F Apparently it's this one. So this one would actually be able to generate sky memories. Okay, well, that might be something to look into. In the meantime, though, I think now that we're in autumn, we'll do, we'll do some beachcombing. I think that's a definite. We'll use our kill us army to beachcomb, because I don't think, I, I really don't think the skills change the randomness of the gathering. From not at least not from what I can call. Okay, so that okay, so all that's going, we'll let that tick. So we need a plan. These would be this would be an amazingly good memory to try and do the purification. Because that would have four. And the problem is I've just spent my one soul card that had the um the sky trait. It would need another sky memory. So we'll just see what we can do with that first. I think I think a lot of this is just going to hinge on what Miss Kill gives me. But I might also take the opportunity to quickly catalog a book since we since I think at this point just getting just getting a few of them out of the way would help a lot. So we'll just start. Just start working on that and we'll piece together a plan. But yeah. I hope everyone's weekend's been good. I know I know mine's been a little bit busy. Not much, but a little. Okay, cool, we've decamped. I mean I mean it's hard for me to quote unquote enjoy a weekend when I work six days a week, but you know, choices are there to be made. Oh, I can use dress. Hello camp. But, uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, oh, hello, memory of regret. I mean, that's useful for some things, so we can, I think, we're, I think that's actually very useful for recovering now, shit. Although we, we probably also need to make a drink. Both these coffees, I used the, my, my Dawn Lion, oh no, I haven't used the Dawn Lion coffee. Let me brew that, actually. Um, I doubt I'm using Arab today, so yeah, we use that to brew my coffee. Okay, I think we're doing well. Wow, yeah, they've really done well with like prioritizing the icons. It's like we have a new person arriving, Mr. Peter Ag Agdistus, musician, mystic, impresario. Ag Agdistus was a dancer once. One cannot see him without knowing it. The wound in his thigh keeps him from the stage, but his very movement still has the cadence of a prayer. So he was a dancer, so I'm guessing he's like a dancer turned priest or something? He's interested in Sky. He understands Aramaic, he understands Boosin. Uh, I mean, uh, it could be worth it, but also at the same time. Well, I mean, what else would I be using this for? This is also a tally thing. I guess we can afford to pass up on Fusine just so we can, just because we haven't, I don't think we've got any books written in Fusine either. Pretty certain everything's either been written in like, we've got Deep Mandaic, we've got Ek, Erica, whatever that was, Vac. Yeah, I don't think we have anything in Fusine yet, so. Yeah, we might just get him to do that instead. Advice on containment. There's a Blake 
discusses ways to keep wood things out of trouble and Mantis things in it. It's actually a pretty easy knock, but we could probably unironically knock that out of the park. Where is my shaft at the moment? Where is that right now? I swear my sh I swear I had shaft. Unless there's no way it glitched out, right? I know I had I know I have a shaft uh element card. So unless it's in a strange place, I have no idea what's going on with that. Alright. Cool. So Peter Distus is here. So he needs it so he's either interested in three heart or three sky. We should have a million books ready for him for that. We'll probably start by giving him one of the four sky sources. Yeah, I'll give him the journal of Thomas DeWolf. That will probably that'll probably give us a good head start on him. Okay, come on, give me some good memories. The unusual help is a musician this time. He does have good nectar. Don't we have one that needs like a big nectar challenge? Uh, the Rose Haunted Hall could. I could give him some health and then a drink. Don't want to go through all my dandelion wine doing that. And from memory, the Tissane does not give any. I mean, the other option would just be go, go get the memory of impulse. Because that's an easy free nectar. But I think you can also give him a tool as well. Yeah, I can give him a tool actually. So, yeah, definitely we want to hire that musician. How long are you going to be sticking around, by the way? Uh, five minutes, so good chunk of the day. Oh, I forgot I was studying this. Which book was this? On Imperfections. Pomanda, Lightsmith, and Lantern Long describe the process of transinhabitation, which he calls a manifestation of imperfection. I'm curious to see what that means, because I'm guessing this is just possession in some fashion. Lantern long lack bodies, and so cannot normally leave the mantis, but they can steady glint in the physical world by establishing a road of glass. Permanda notes with disgust that the Order of Long called the Obliviates refer to it as scrining, which he considers a debased term. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't think the Obliviates of Port Noon give a shit what you have to say, Permanda. I hate to break it to you, bud. But interesting, the road of glass. So I'm guessing there's some way they can be imprinted onto like a reflection, maybe? Amanda explains the benefits of trans inhabitation, that a lantern long can affect the senses and thoughts of those nearby. They can even enter their spirits and they can employ the senses of those inhabited to experience again the scent of blossom and season. It seems to be what interests him most. He insists that a lantern long should only ever inhabit a mirror of silver, not silvered glass, but he declines to explain why. Okay, so it is basically they can be transported via a mirror into the physical world and then through other efforts they can use their spirits. Okay, a memory of a pattern, which is always good. And what's this? Glass blowing and vessel crafting. That's not a bad book to have. Okay, so put a memory of pattern there. So, okay, so lessons on glass blowing and vessel crafting. Knowing my luck, considering Nock is on a very different array, I doubt it's going to come into Bosk. Yeah, Nock seems to more focus on Skullcosophy, so my thought is we more use that to upgrade what we already have with Nock. Which we could do with what we have right now. Because we could do what? Lockworks of Clockworks. Yeah, we could do Lockworks and Clockworks. And then, yeah, we would just need one more... Uh, we'd need one more no knock memory, of which I think there's a few different options for that. Outside of Pattern... It's either Stolen Secret or Salt. Uh, we should have plenty of sand, right? Yeah, we got plenty of sand, so I could just consider the sand and get a salt memory off that. Let's do that then. Uh, what salt card am I not going to be using today? We're barely using core. Let's just use core. Okay, cool. That should get us an upgrade then for 
The lock works. God damn it, did you just give me the exact same memory of regret again? Just kill, you're killing me here. Okay, um... Okay, cool, let's... Let's hire this musician. I have this musician now, while we remember to do so. And he'll get into this room, the Rose Haunted Hall, which... Curious to see what that has. But it looks like an armory. Like, I would like to get into here, but I, I bet we need the right people for it. So we'll hire him. In the meantime, we have the Dawn Lion Coffee. So we have our drink ready to go for recovery. We've got our musician hired. Beautiful. Yep, so we've got our musician hired. We need... We'll offer him our own health. So a straight collaboration. Ready to lend my limbs. Very charming. Very charming. Okay. Cool, so that's what that's on its way. Hmm. I really don't when did my shaft get fatigued? It's a little frustrating, but I guess it's not the worst situation. Guess I could also use the fog for that, but I kind of think that's a waste of some perfectly good skills. And to be honest, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to make the best use of the fog today. Okay, well, this instrument could work with what I have in mind. Because, let's see, if I put you two in, that gets to six. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to be able to get it anyway. It's a shame, because that wind rumor is really nice. That might be the one I carry over then. I just need to find a good use of the fog in some other sense. I think I have a lot of moon books still left to read, right? And I mean, our magazine's at four. The four of us three will be at seven. Because the other option would be to use it for knock, which... Of which there is the Twin Serpent Tantra. Twin Serpent could be a... Fairly easy one to take out. Because... Yeah, we'd have a good odds of that. So we might save it for that then. Because yeah, I don't want to waste it on a memory of the pattern. Yeah, I don't want to waste it for upgrading the lock works. Okay. Cool. Got the memory assault. And now we'll do... One, two, three, four. Oh, of course. Um, what are my options for this? I need either sky or I need to recover shaft. Uh, do I have just like a drink of something somewhere that I can use for this? I mean, I have the coffee, but I want to use that for... Oh, I forgot about this egg. Egg's been sitting there the entire time, hasn't it? I'm kind of stupid. Uh, well... You know what? Yeah, let's serve out some aisle water real quick. I'm gonna put these flowers down here for now. Cool. Just a little bit of aisle water. Because I think we can source that directly from the well now. It's fine, we can use that. Okay, so... Damn, we have like, I'm like struggling to piece together a plan here. Yeah, I'm just going to put both of these here for now. It's both our drinks. Hmm. I mean, the other choice is because, because the others are normally pretty easy to collect, we may just choose not to rush and instead we can... Instead, we could maybe use this day to recover to recover Shaft and use that instead. 
might be another option. Okay, cool. He's almost ready to go. Let's do... What was the other thing he needed? Oh, yeah, yeah, we were going to give him the, the mixing bowl. Where's the mixing bowl? There it is. Oh. Prefer a tool. I'm asking an artist to, to, to cook. I'm sorry, mate. This, I know this isn't your usual line of work, but uh, for our purposes, uh, we require it. You don't have much choice in them in the matter. I think I need to look into acquiring more shafts, I feel. Okay, so now what's finished here? Okay, so we finished camping. Now maybe we look to recover shafts today. I remember how long that normally takes. Shouldn't take too long, I think. Yeah, a minute 30. We'll easily have enough time. Yeah, we'll just use that to upgrade. And then we can use another card to do, to do the actual reading of this book. And then we should be fine. He's going to be almost done being upgraded. Nice. Cool, so he's exalted with the tool. Now we just need to send you to... Is this room, right? Yep, the Rose Haunted Hall. This room is rife with climbing roses, tangled in the lamps, sprawled across the table. The blossoms are a deep, deep red, one of those colours not often seen in waking life, and their perfume makes my head swim. Another of Van Lauren's protections, or something else? In any case, it will be arduous, careful work to clear it. Good thing we're sending you in. Yeah. Our very bizarre musician. Okay, so now let's speak to Peter. His, he has a lot of assistance. Could I actually use him to clear a room? Is that an option? He technically does... Oh, wait, no, no, because he's not about assistance. I don't think so, at least. No. Okay, so I can only give me a new... Something readable, some or talk about the incident. You can discuss it or leave slot empty and offer consultation. I guess I can speak to him and see if something interesting comes about it. I don't know what happens if I get him to speak on the affair. That's my preppy book. Alternatively, they know language, I confirm a profit payment. I occasionally abscond with a book, which I think is wild. Can I put this in? No, it has to be one or the other. Let's just let that tick over, because it's, and hopefully he doesn't just leave. I mean, granted, he has every right to if he if he's not happy, because I won't blame him for being like, uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna come back. In the meantime, we'll just wait for things to tick over. At this point, now that we have less soul cards like sticking around, every little move matters. So now, now there's a lot more, I guess, appraised to getting, getting other things done, or to make, or I guess just make every action count. Which is finished. Hey, we got our plus post. Oh yeah. I wonder now what, whether we could um, attempt that song. So, what was it? I needed you. You plus. I guess this. Well, no, that's our omen. And then we just got our new post in. It gets us to eight. Again, we just need two sky from somewhere. Hmm, maybe he'll give us something if we just speak to him and not do anything else. No. Okay. I guess maybe I'll try and speak to him on the affair. Glow in the clouds have been called the dance of the lower skies. I... 
I know their moods and modes very well, but lately there has been a change. The dancers of the lower skies have become first coquettish, now insistent. Interesting. Okay, let me just let me just confirm what book he'll want. Let me see if I can just get one of my four sky books ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we'll get the journal ready. Now we'll go speak to him. Speak to him on the affair? Guessing I can't speak to him on this, no. I can only speak with Numa people about Numa incidents. Okay, so now he'll want a book. I am summoned west. I understand where I'm being asked to. I do not I understand where I'm being asked to go. I do not understand why. Perhaps this will help. Change, librarian. We do dedicate ourselves to Marcius, to the dance that does not end. We have a contradictory relationship with change. If I go west, I am promised that I will become something more, but I will not. I'm happy with what I am. Almost happy. I guess that makes sense because he is a because he is someone who is interested in heart, which means he will most likely he will most likely be akin to the Thunderskin, and definitely does not seem to be aligned with Moth, which would one hundred percent be the one that just screws him over. Well, I say screw him over; they just want him to change in ways he may not want to. Okay, cool. So now we can do the upgrade. Where are you? Where are you, recovered shaft? There you are. Okay, so we want to do one, two, three. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. It helps if I put the lesson in the right slot. And now we do this. And there we go. Cool. Now we just need. What do we need? So that's going to be upgraded soon. And then for the for an eight knot book, yeah, we just need to find which which tool of ours uses uses knock because I know we do have a tool that does. Just need to remember what it looks like. It's not the hourglass. It's not the scales. Nice bit of domain raveling there. Oh, cool! It finished. Works and clockworks upgraded again. Let's go. Coffee's there for recovery the next day. Oh, there's more. There's so much stuff just sitting around that I need to like crack open because there's a hundred percent gonna be good shit inside there. But this had a little bit of. You know, there is a tool with a bit of knock in it. Is it you? No. Maybe it's one of you two. Your edge, your forge. I really thought one if you had it. This is a tool up here that I've missed. Spanner's a forge. Really, I guess I don't have a knock tool. Because I think the scissors are moth, yeah. The shears are moth. Well, we'll just have to go for the gamble, maybe. And hope it pays off. Um, oh, well, we've done the upgrade, so let's just go for it now. Oh, so we do you and you. We actually might look to carry this over on sleep. Up this, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're not using pet for much. Wait, is it not pet? Oh, no, it's whist. Whist I can put in. I'm not doing much for the winter, so we'll do that. Right, knock, knock, but not enough to match the mystery. Let's just see how luck falls on that. And hope that doesn't, like, completely fuck me up. Otherwise, they've wasted a very good... Uh, change librarian. Okay, so he's the same thing. So he gives that back to me. And he gave me a bronze spintria for it. Fair enough. Cool. Well, now that... So, we got a little bit of money out of that. Can I not combine them? Oh, I can. Oh, cool. So now I have a gold. I have to say, considering that, like, most of the books from Aura Flames have been, like, re really expensive and been, like, five, I would expect they would give me that. But I do not want to render these into wire. I have a feeling that's a terrible idea. But I could be wrong. Okay. Ooh, so now... 
It is very tempting to learn this lesson just to see what we can do with it. Because we're not using much with knock. But I also doubt that it's but I doubt it's a Bosk skill either. May not be exactly what we what we're looking for. Even though we do have some stuff with knock, because what's being Bosk really? Bosk has been more Grail. Grail, Nectar, and Scale have more been it, so we're more looking for those skills in particular. Okay, um, yeah, so we'll look to carry this over. Has Knight fallen yet, or can I not? Knight's not yet fallen, God damn it. Okay. And he, oh yeah, he finished ex examining this, so let's have a look. Refectory. Here the whole Curia used to meet. Librarian and the secretary salvant, vigilant and enigmatic. Sometimes even the secretary nonciant. The duties of that office usually kept him away from the house. There's only ever been one secretary persistent, and she has never liked to eat in company. That was in the good times of the Curia's heyday. In later years, the governor of the jail would, would sit at one end, the librarian at the other, and the clock would tick away the long silences between their words. Is there anything interesting in here? Fireplace. Mirror. Pieces of art. Feels like feels more of like a filler space. But I'm guessing it's because it leads to this room somehow. It's unlocked more options at least on where we can on where we can try and crack open things. So I mean, you know, pays out slightly. Um, is there much else we can do with Faust actually? Because we could look to try and do some some stuff with Sky here. I think we've looked into these, but I could be wrong. It needs... it needs wood, though. Skull must be whispered to carved wood, which is less useful. What about if I go the purifications? If Volga needed that. If I add liquid, I can distill a more potent. Okay, so neither of these really works. Because this needs... Yeah, because this needs an instrument specifically. It's so frustrating. Especially because... I think with the Wind Rumor... We can hold on to it and just hope that our next weather memory comes out better. In the meantime, we can just check over other things. Add glass. Of which I don't think these... Well, these two count as glass. Could I get it high enough, though, with what I have here? If I can get... If I can get a lantern memory, then yes, I could. Honestly, that's kind of worth just seeing what I can get out of that. Um, Which ones give... Which ones give revelation? Revelation, there you are. Memory, some of the obvious, like, lantern books. The Watchful Tantra gives it. Have I done the Watchful Tantra? I have. Okay, well then let's do that. We'll use up that for that. Reread that real quick. In the meantime... Am I going to have enough met? Actually, wait. I could probably still do the recovery of my error. Because I can use metal plus, plus the coffee and then a little bit of skill. There we go. Malady cured. Need warmth and brightness as I rest. Beautiful. That'll be that'll be fixed, so we don't have to worry about that going to decrepitude. Even though I, even though I have no idea whether that's still a thing in this game. I could imagine it would be, though. I don't like to go easy. Oh, but that doesn't... That means I can't hold on to the Wind Rumor. So the Wind Rumor's gone. Shit. Well. it's always a chance of that happening. Still have yet to see the out, outcome of this. And our Memory of Solace, I don't think we can make use of. Not unless there's a very easy, um... Art skill I can use, but even then I don't have anything to put in this slot. 
Okay. Well, let's just wait for this, and then we'll try and see if we can get our post going. Like, is it going to make it? I wonder. I have a feeling the answer may be a no. Oh, oh, I've completely ignored uh, the book. What does the book want? So, weather or soul cards. I have none of those. Unless tomorrow's weather works for this. It's a chance we could get fog again. Okay, there's revelation. We will have just enough time, it looks like. Okay, let's let's take sacred solace. Oh. Oh, I can't even put it in there. Oh, you're kidding me. And that has to be a memory. Oh, that sucks. Is there any other option I have? This can do it. If I'm lucky. Just need substance and solution, but the problem is I can't put the lenses in there because they don't count as either. Oh. They do count as tools, which is interesting. I'd have to upgrade Sacred Solace if I wanted to look into it. I think I've looked into... Have I looked into Pyroglyphics and what the 10 gives? I haven't. Well, let's have a quick peek then, shall we? Have one of these Dear Day lenses. Oh, I guess I can't. I need an actual... Uh, hold on. Let's try here then. Here, put a lens in there. Put the pyroglyphics in here, and what do we get? So if I want this, I need a liquid. And a liquid can can a liquid be put in this slot? No. So I pretty much. I pretty much have to use something from here, and I have a feeling it's going to make the Xanthotic Essence. I guess I could use the Dandelion Wine for this. Let's serve a small amount of Dandelion Wine. Grab that. And we can make, and we can at least test what this will make. So, one, two. There's the Pyroglyphics, there it is. And then we put you in, and then we need like one more thing. We have a flower with we have a flower with lantern, right? Your your forge. There's got to be something. Where's like a flower? We need a flower. God damn you! Uh, we'll just put this here with the other batch of. Can we not? Can we not fit that on that table. Oh, there we go. It's just so much foliage, Jesus. I thought we had a flower. We had some flowers that could... That lantern quality. Not cat's claw. Also, it's just a cheap material I can use that has... Lantern. A few different things. Oh, the shadowless silk will work for that. Okay, so now we can make it. So... Post, Relation, Hieroglyphics, there we go, yep, Xanthotic Essence, condense this liquid into a golden essence of lantern power, beautiful, I have a feeling, yeah, this won't be enough because this is, oh wait, no, it will be enough, I can find out what this is, so this will also make Xanthotic Essence. Cool, so both of them can be used in that fashion. In which case, we'll use our pyroglyphics for this. Real quick, and we'll just make it. Since it's just here, why not? Okay, cool. Next day. We unfortunately lost that wind rumor, but say la vie. What do we get? Rain. Ooh, that's real good. Real good for nectar. Which we do have some, some places that use it. Okay, so let's get Miss Kill. Let's 
Uh, go, let's go looking for a person, maybe. I don't know if we're going to be... I think we're soon going to run out of money to hire people, but at this but at this stage, I kind of aren't too worried about that. At this point, we're just more looking to try and figure out how we want to accomplish... What we want to accomplish further further developments. Okay, this is almost done. Oh, my shaft's going to come back into this, right? I can't put the... Oh, wait, no, the weather doesn't work. Oh, didn't both my chances for soul cards just pass up? Oh, that's going to suck. Okay. That's unfortunate. I have a feeling that's miskilled. Yep. Immediately start talking to you. Arab. Okay. So, we've got a few different options today. Just need to figure out how we want to go about it. Definitely will look to use a bit of Arab to do more cataloging, I think. Slowly start... Oh, actually, no, 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 better idea, because we still have a whole bunch of co containers to open. So let's crack these open and see if we get some interesting things in there. Something tricksy could be... Hoping is knock. Hoping it's a knock thing. Um, yeah, this is going to balk. Yep, so this has unfortunately defeated me. Let's just hope that this doesn't malady. Please don't malady. Okay, it didn't malady. It just gave me regret. That's that's fine. That could have that could have gone way worse. Okay. That's perfectly fine. So now, so now we need we need to wait either till Aura Flames comes back round, or we need to just start doing more reads. I mean, this one should be pretty easy to do now that... I mean, our Lockworks can basically do it now. We just need it. We just need a simple... We could actually do it here with a little bit of Arab, couldn't we? Because the Lockworks will just solve it immediately. Right. Easy. And we'll do that. Let's get that cooking. Okay. So now we're waiting on... You know, a few things. I think there's a little glitched is... I think the bar... I think the loading bars are just filling immediately. Hey, this game looks very interesting from reviews it seems people either love it or hate it. Yeah, I could 100% believe that because... This is very much an, if you're in for the long haul, then, or if you don't mind being in for a long haul, then you'll love it. But yes, hello, uh, Oz Rules, is that, I'm guessing that's how I pronounce that, but yeah, that, but yeah, no, how have you been though? I'm glad that you sit, I'm glad that you've shown up, and, um, I like, I admire your, uh, curiosity into, um, in this game, but yeah, I do see, I do see very much the point of how people would either love it or hate it, because it isn't fast. Things move slow and um, and decisions are important. If you don't, if you make the wrong ones, you are in big trouble. But, but yes, thankfully though, I'm. I, thankfully though, I played the game that originally, or got really into the game that originally this was based off. So I'm less worried about that because the first game was fantastic, and I know this is this one. Well, is equally just as good. If not better, actually, because there's more to do. Um, okay, so engineer. What can we use the engineer for? Well, since it appears you are from Australia, it is actually is a play on Aussie rules. I am American, but love footy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, my man! It's hell yeah. No, no, I, yeah, no Aussie rules is um, it's fun. I, I I'm not the biggest sporting person, but I do, but I do. I do keep up with the sport occasionally, and it is always fun to see to see the developments as they come around. Um, I don't. I'm not going to get my foes today, am I? So, best thing I could do is probably go for forge. Although I think my metal's also down as well because I'm using that for recover. Huh. <laughs> well, I guess we're not hiring the engineer today. Um, what's this? Cinnabar. Right, scarlet powder with silvery brilliance locked within. 
Could be good. Well, it's not. It's not exactly the strongest mixture. Jesus. We need to. We need to get some really potent brews going. We can make use of this. I feel like. Yeah, either the xanthotic or the iotic essence would be really good right now to make some insane stuff. Because I don't even know yet whether we can chase like the higher tier. Uh, what do we want to do next? We have a little bit of extra trip, so we could actually catalog something else in the meantime. I don't think we're going to get much else out of beachcombing. Now as get now as to getting to the end of the game, is there a is there only one way to get there, or are there different paths depending on choices? Um, there are different paths. From from what I understand, there's there's a few different key choices. The first one is the stats you choose at the start of the game determine which book you get. So you get like a different journal depending, and that and that can and that basically sends you down a path. Uh, there's one. So like for in, in this case, mine is the artist. So the for the artist like. To quote unquote get the true artist ending, you basically chase down uh, this skill and use uh, this skill path, and you'll use that to write your final dedication. But yeah, from what I understand, there's sort of like they've said there's over a hundred different endings. So I assume there's later choices I will make that will determine other factors. I, it's just a matter of figuring out how, because even at the moment, the the community is still piecing together a lot of the information. I, like I, I keep an eye on the wiki every now and then, and uh, yeah, they're they're still trying to piece together how some things work. So far, I think the most knowledge is just the regular victory and the and the minor victory, because there's always a minor victory where you don't get where you don't chase the true goal, and you basically choose to be like, yeah, I'm happy enough with what I've done. I'm just gonna relax instead. But uh, yeah, there's a few different options though with that okay so okay so we now have a spare xanthotic so we might be able to do something like that we have yet to figure out what we can do with the brain right now i'll say i can try and go for a big neck to play because we could we haven't seen what the 10 is right 10 oh the 10 is the pyrus so i'd be making more pairs making more of the numa pairs what do the numa pairs have Ooh, they're, they're pretty damn good. I wonder actually, could I could I use that to go for it, go for something else even? Because this plus this plus this plus pair. How would I get to 15? I'd need something with a strong amount of seasoning. All these flowers I think are all all these flowers are too. They say the game's about 20 to 40 hours, but from the snippets of gameplay I've watched, it seems like it could take longer than that. I think it depends on your knowledge base. If you if you know what you're doing, I'd say you could get through a run in 20 hours. I've currently been... This is currently my first ever run, and I've, at this point, been playing for... I want to say... Probably close to 20 hours at this point. And I'm not... I'm not, I'm not at the end yet, not by a not by a fair bit but i am in mid game so i could see i could see this run being 40 hours to finish but i think it's more that if you choose to pursue all the different endings and the different like paths then you're easily sinking way more than that so yeah it's probably about 24 hours per run and then and then with like 100 different endings if you're not safe scumming then yeah that that, that adds up which is funny because I think the um, what was it the original the original game had it that um, oh god oh god is not happy with me use some beverage oh okay do I do I have a beverage um, yeah because I think in the original game uh, average runtime to to go for an end go for a victory in that used to be. It used to be, oh, I should remember it. Yeah, it used to be average 10 hours was what it took to beat a regular run. Okay, give me something. Okay, some aisle water. Oh, wow, we already we already have run out of aisle water. Damn. Okay, uh, any good? Oh, there's the storm memory. That's not bad. 
Seems people think this is a little more forgiving than Cult Sim. Oh, 100%. It's way more forgiving than Cult Sim. Cult Sim would... Cold Sim would have it would have already by now tried to tried to have broken your kneecaps and killed you. <laughs> like, like Book of Hours is a lot more forgiving just because of the fact that um what's the what's the way I'd put it? Cold Sim is more forgiving in that it doesn't There's there's fewer ways to lose stats. Because because in Cold Sim there were so many ways where you could like either lose your stats or or um, or they're just paths to insta lose. There's not really ways to lose in Walk of Hours. There's more. It's more the path to victory is harder. So it's so it's a balance. Of, so it's a trade off of less chance to die. But or ba yeah, little to no chance of dying. But it's harder to reach the end the end goal. And to be honest, I don't mind that because. I mean, sure, I, as someone who loves roguelikes, I don't mind the challenge of keeping myself alive. But I'm also aware that it's not... It's not the be-all, end-all sort of, like, gameplay loop that people want to do, especially considering that the final DLC, the, the final DLC for Book of Hours was arguably the hardest thing they could have thrown at... Oh, sorry, not Book of Hours, Cult Sim, was arguably the hardest, um, the hardest to achieve a victory in. Literally because it changed the entire gameplay. Okay, so let's try this again now. If I so I take you, I take you, I take you, I take the pears. Now I had a beverage. A lethe, it's a moth liquor. Ooh. Ooh, do tell, I'm curious. Let's do it. Why not? Uh this is a level two, right? So this would not. Okay, the only other thing I might try is just grab just like a, any other any old drink that has a little bit of nectar in it. Um, there should be like a glass of something I can just take a bit of. Does the brandy have it? No, the brandy doesn't. What would you say is the replayability ba factor based on what you've seen so far? Um. I'd say probably the the replay the replayability factor lies in the probably just the probably just like seeing the different endings um, at this stage. I don't have enough info about whether uh, what's it called whether the well my brain is like struggling to piece together a word. I have yet to see when like whether there's like mid game choices that are changing that that could change directory because the only other divergent path i could see is not taking is not um is not signing on with the trust that would be the only other like branching path i can think of so i'm guessing there's a lot more i'm guessing there's stuff that will crop up later it's like maybe a random chance sort of dealio I know they're working on some future DLC after this last update, so there will be that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the DLC is because I've got Perpetual Edition, so I don't have to pay for the DLC. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm curious to see because the DLCs for Cult Sim are really good. When is there just something with a, just a little bit of nectar, but not a lot? I guess not. Okay. So yeah, I'll just make the um, I'll just make the one thing. With the narcotics just so we can see what that makes I wanted to see if i could figure out what could be made with the rights of the roads but i don't think it's worth trying to piece together a plan off that okay so what's left at the gate the fucking seashell these seashells are so useless i need to find like i need to find like some something to do with them because because i know i've been chasing up what I want to do with, um, with like, uh, what's it called? With Horns and Ivories. Do you take a, no a lot of notes in this game? I've heard there's a lot of things to keep track of. I take some notes, but not a lot. It's, most of the time I have, I just usually will have the wiki page on hand, ready to go for when I need it. That's usually what I end up doing, is just keeping the wiki open just for like memories and stuff. Or recipe, I need a memory. I 
Have a scale memory at the moment? No, I need fear for that. But yeah, no, it, this is definitely one of those games where like writing down a lot of the thing, a lot of like things and what they do is kind of, I wouldn't say it's entirely, it is kind of recommended, just very passively. But again, the wiki exists, so you don't entirely need to rely on your own notes for this. Okay, what do I want to do? Maybe I should have used it to read those nectar books, because otherwise they're really hard to break to break open. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done with that. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's look to try and make use of these memories in some facet. So I do have a bit of moon I can make use of. What's the easiest thing to read? Uh, it would be the recording. So let's see if I can take this recording to... Let's take the recording to the cinema booth. Oh god. The Zoom was not happy with me in that moment. Okay, take intuition. Well, this can add an extra memory in. Okay, cool. Trist. Oh, freak, I can't put Trist. That's going to be the one thing that makes this harder. There. There's my Megathene. I even put Megathene in. Fuck, man. Why am I meant to read this then? Is there another projector somewhere? There has to be. There's my other frustration. The fucking workstations. Unless I can consider this. But I'm guessing I can't because it's specifically a... Yeah, I think it's just specifically a... a film reel, so I can't do anything with that. I can look to do some moth, actually. That could... I, I could have good luck on the on the Tantra for moth. Granted, I don't have a lot to focus on the moth. Because the only other one is the 14 Rose book. Or do I have a winter? I do have a 10 winter. But I did use Wist, so that doesn't help me much. Oh, actually, better idea. Twin Serpent. I'll do Twin Serpent. I need the right thing for it, though. Uh, where's a... That's a nut... That's a knock workstation I'm using. Oh, and it's using my knock skill, so I can't even read it. God damn it. Like, jumping half a million steps trying to figure out... Figure out ways to make use of everything. Okay, so... I could use this. A little bit of Trist. And my Magathene. It's gonna be a little short. And even with a tool, this could be dangerous. My only other option would be potentially pick up a confounding parable. Let's actually do that, I think. We use one of our trees for that. That might open more options. Um, okay, so we've gotten, gotten about halfway through the day. I don't think there's much else we're going to do in terms of beach combing and other things. Because we're already walking on the moors. Okay, cool. My Arab has just been healed. That's always good. Uh, the icy bedroom I can't break into yet. My old chamber is a no. Damn. It's a shame because I really want to make use of this storm. Unless I can make a salt sign. Salt sign might not be a bad move. At least then... I just need a soul card to put in. Put in I already have an awakened feather, which I don't think is very useful at the moment because it's a decrepit thing. I'm trying to remember half the things I wanted to look into. I don't have a lot of scales, so anything scale wise is pretty much off, off of what I already have. Yeah, and I'm not going to have enough to get the knot. Okay, let's just let things tick through. Anything good? Hey, memory of fear, I'll take that. Now, now all of a sudden scale becomes a possibility. I could take this, I could take the animal bones. Throw you in there, there's 10 scale. An old moment, recall something lost, something scale aspected. Oh. 
Curiosity. Let's see what that makes. I want to see what that does. Okay, cool. So I have two advanced recipes uh, figured out for later. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, okay. Let that tick through. And yeah, hopefully we can get... Hopefully we'll grab two moon memories and we can try and crack into this Queen's Turn book. Okay, cool. So we finished this one. Thurza Blake discusses ways to keep wood things out of trouble and mantis things in it. This is what we want. Thurza is irritatingly light on specifics, insisting above all that the duties of an adept are the duties of a host and that a conjured spirit should be kept in, in as luxurious a vessel as possible. I mean, I guess that makes sense because they they've they did they have confirmed like from Colson that that even the most basic spirits do have do have a personality and may just attack you if if they think you're a dick. So I guess it makes sense to give them a good vessel. Those are notes of similarities between the lantern long habit of scrying returning to the physical world despite their absence of a body by entering a mirror or light. Oh, so it doesn't just so it's not just the option of a mirror. It can be it can be light as well. Okay. Pomander's techniques of confining Mance's long to mirrors. He wonders whether Pomander himself might be lured to visit Hush House if provided with a sufficiently alluring scrying. Oh, she was trying to get... Oh, she wanted to meet this man. And we have Patton and another glass blowing. Okay. Ooh, we're getting all of them now. I mean, it's fine because we're going to... Because that, that makes it a bit easier to do all the lock working. Okay. I wonder if we can. I wish. I wonder if like Numer allows us to convert these lessons into other forms. Because the only other thing I could see them being used for is to upgrade some of our sky skills, which might not be the worst thing. Okay. In the meantime, let's look to. Could actually. Did we upgrade this? We have no moth memory, so never mind. We don't. We can't do that. Okay, let's collect our confounding parable first. Oh, remember what this thing has. Yeah, this has a bunch of sky on it too. Oh, actually, then that could have been done as well to do sky. Especially because I think, yeah, this could have fitted in that memory slot. It's not impossible to do this, right? Because I can put fed in. Yeah, we just need to get to 10 sky. Which we have two deer day lenses. Oh, but I need oh no, I need instrument. What about that? What about that? Did you kind of know do you kind of know what it takes to open a new room, or is it just by dumb luck of combining certain things and voila a room opens? Uh, no, so how rooms work is you have to hire someone. So I have like this um this Potential employability for an engineer. So if I hire an if I hire an engineer, or if I hire this person, which the 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 pool of people is random, um, you that you can basically you can hire them. They have a certain amount of stats. You then exalt them using using um, materials and stuff you have on hand, and then if they meet any of the requirements for these rooms, then you can open it. So like. If I had, if I hired this engineer and got her to nine lantern, I could open this room. And and as it gets, and as of course you get further into the manor, it gets a lot harder to get into these rooms. I wonder actually. I wonder if I if I could, if I hired her, could I potentially use the essence? Could I give her this essence? I should have investigated that. Oh well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, the system's really simple and they've made it a lot easier because it used to be that to see the requirements of each room, you had to click on them to see the requirements, but now they have it that you can just hover. That was a very early quality of life change they added. Okay, so what do we need? Oh, this is considered an egg as well. Oh, that's interesting. I should, I should note that for next time. Okay, so... Okay, so we've got a lot of sky, but we need an instrument. We do have this instrument. So let's take you, Memory of the Storm. This is Inspiration. 
only we had that Skybound Omen. Okay, well, what we can do is we can carry over the memory of Storm and attempt to do this next time, I think. Yeah, yeah, we can do that and attempt. So if you've been playing this game for a while, I actually wish, I actually wish they still had a demo. Yeah, no, I, I do remember playing the demo. The demo was insanely short. Like, the demo only went as far as, like, the first room of the house. It felt like nothing. But, yeah, no, like I said, I've been playing this game for... I've been playing this run specifically for about 20 hours. Okay, uh, is there other options? Are all of these sky? Yes, all of them sky. Okay, so what I might do is I'll just keep the memory of Storm carrying over to the next day. And I might just use the rest... Yeah, I'll just use the rest of my... That unless I can't make use of the memory of pattern, unfortunately. That's the one I just finished, so we'll put that there. Yeah, I think I think I'm I don't think I can do anything more today with my stats, so I'm just gonna use it to finish cat to just do more cataloging. Because we have a shit ton of books to get through. Uh, cool. Use Arab here. Yeah, this is going to be more of an uneventful day just because of the fact that we don't have a lot of options for things we can do. Oh, the walk on the moor is finished. Oh, some Hawthorn bark. Now that we have that workbench, we can actually make use of that. Though, Jesus, it doesn't have a lot. Is that our most valuable wood, or is it not really? Because I'm half thinking I, might, I may just grab it and... You know, actually, let's just see what happens if I rend it. Can I add a soul card here? Oh, I don't have one. Okay, well next time... Next time I have an, an opportunity, I'm going to take this wood, I'm going to render it to wood scraps just to see what happens. Because I want to know. I assume there's something specifically of why you would want wood scraps. Lethe, Dark Serpley Favor, fa favored in unnamed forest villages. Or four moth, two nectar, two scale. That's... That's a really good, that's a really good crafting recipe. Holy shit. Um, we'll put that here for now. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice little, little, little recipe there. Definitely can make use of that. What's this? A true and complete accounting of the Asclepian mysteries of the roots of the house. Descriptions of the Asclepian mysteries reproduced by one Riley Grease from supposedly a much older text likely to be genuine, but it makes a reference to the house without walls and its wood right there in the prologue. Yeah, so they weren't even trying to hide it, which probably means that author 100% got, got uh, detained. <laughs> which is unfortunate for him, but, uh, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes sometimes. As unpleasant as that is to say. <laughs> Okay, so what do I have left as options? I still can't do with this tantra yet. Can I make use of the intuition or the confounding parable in any way? Maybe if there's something moon or rose related I could do. Especially since I have my highest rose. Although I think I still only have one rose skill, don't I? Oh no, because I got pearl and tide. I can investigate what I can do with Pearl and Tide. So I can craft a salt sign. Cool. If I add a memory, I can achieve an insight more powerful than this sign. Now you've got me curious. Oh, cool. And it just says what the other rest... Oh, because we meet it. Oh, this is the Enduring Reflection. Okay, that's... It's honestly insanely easy to do with this new setup. Yeah, we'll make that. We'll make that, because I'm pretty certain that's a persistent memory we can use later. And now that I now that I think about it, we, I should be like hoarding those persistent memories, because those are gold. Old moment. You've had them too, those moments when we seem to look out at the world through another's eyes. What if those moments were real? Not a persistent, but it is a very strong scale. That's a very strong scale memory, holy crap. Um, guessing I can't do any crafting with Hennebeck, could I? Probably not. But cool, Old Moment is a really good memory, holy shit. 
Definitely, definitely want to make use of that somehow. Do I have any scale books though? I don't think I do. No, it is a moth memory, so... Oh, but I just put the thing in there, so... I'd have to recover it. Is there a drink I could pour really quickly? Drink, drink, drink. Oh, we have, we have a million stocks of dandelion wine. Let's just use this then. We'll go recover in, in here. We'll recover... Uh, what's our strongest? Yeah, our Trist is just as strong as our Fet, so we'll just recover the Trist. Okay. Oh. What's this? The Geminiad 1. Fragile manuscript illuminated with twin shapes of sad and luminous beauty with all the phases of the moon. Might be as old as the 7th century, but the language who's seen is much older. Cover is tooled goatskin decorated with garnet. God damn it! Right after we just had the visitor who who could have taught us Fusin. Fuck you, game. God damn it. Well, there you go. Well, there goes that. I'm gonna have to hope he comes back around eventually. I assume they do though. Well, now the question is, do I want to hold on to? There's not really much reason to hold on to the old moment. Let's just see if we can get it done really quick. What do I have left that's, like, ticking down? I've also been completely forgetting to use the midwife. We'll quickly talk to her one last time before before dusk. Um, I think all the processes are done, so it's just coming down to what's left ticking. Maybe we'll get a decent memory off the last batch. Ooh, stolen secret, okay. Not bad. Not bad in the slightest. I think it's still considered a basic memory, right? No, I guess not, technically. Although we could actually use that to do an upgrade. Because if I grab this... Actually, I could use it... Or where is it? There's the horns and ivories. Could actually use it to upgrade that. Because I have that because I could get this really, really high. The only thing is I'd need that lesson. And I'm already recovering something that is Yeah. Oh damn it. I just realized that moment could have been done right there. It's fine. There'll be more. There'll be more opportunities in the future. It's just a matter now of which, which, uh, which memory to keep. This is a throwaway. Cool. Enduring reflection. There we go. At least we now have that available. So I need to figure out how to find those other like enduring memories for other. That's because those could be really good. Okay. So. Did we get the tress back? Is that still waiting? We've almost got it back. Yes, yeah, so we'll use the old moment for that. We'll preserve the memory of the storm. And then tomorrow we'll try and do some... We'll try and do a big... We'll try and see what the advanced recipe is with an instrument. Okay. Okay, let's grab... Which book was it? This one, right? Is it this one? Eight versus ten. Yeah, yeah, so this one. Take out Trist. Trist plus memory plus... There's my strong moth skill. I've completely forgotten already. Not Magathane. We find anything that's moth real quick. Oh, that's it. The Sakura. Sakura Lumine. Cool. Yep, that will meet it. Not the best use of the, that memory, but fuck it. We need to use it. It's use it or lose it at this point. Um, okay, so now we'll preserve the storm memory for tomorrow. And that's everything we can do, really. Don't think we have anything else ticking. It does mean we will have one less trace tomorrow, but that's like not the worst situation. 
And we can use the Enduring Reflection to... I actually wonder now. What did replace? I wonder if it, it could be used to replace, like, the presence of a skill card to... Wait, no, no, because it doesn't count as a... Yes, it could, technically. I guess I could put any two soul cards in here that matched and then put the Enduring Reflection in and maybe that counts as an evolution? I need to look into that. Because if so, that's kind of neat. Ooh, what do we got? The Winding Stair. That's in Ramson, God damn it! Can't read that. How much are they asking for? Only two for that. That's insanely cheap, so... Yeah, you know what? We'll pick it up. Never hurts to have a new book, even if it's one I can't read yet. Okay, give me something good on the on the weather front. Get this kill. Hail! Ooh! Hello, rarity to get that much edge. Holy crap. Okay, we can work with that. Definitely want to try and see then if we can do something big with edge, because I think we have a couple of edge. We have a couple of edge uh, skills, I think. We only have two, actually. Okay, so what do we want to do? Oh yeah, yeah we want to check out the hired help for the day. Oh. Right, so now that we have these underway, so Memory of Storm's coming back, we'll quickly grab our confounding parable again. Boom. But that's that's gonna be reread. Uh Lethe, we still need to figure out what we want to do with that, because that is really potent brew. We haven't looked too much into moth stuff, but we need a good workbench for it, and I don't know if there's a moth workbench. Yeah, we don't have one yet. Although this is technically a restorative, which means we can give that to a um means we can give it to a hired help. That could be good actually. It could be really good, depending on who's available. Speak to the midwife. Okay, so we want to try and get we want to try and get our knock memories again if we're lucky. Okay, cool. There's our storm memory again. Yeah, we might want to try and look to get our knock memories again because then we can because then we can attempt to upgrade the horns and ivories more. Is that at, because then at least we can start doing some interesting things with scale. And it means we burn less having to do other things. Are these our only knock skills? Oh, these also have knock. That might also be the other option would be to start improving other knock skills we have because although it feels like they're less important. This one's not as important, although we haven't really done much with this to see what we can even do with it. If I go here with Edix Liminal. Wait, that's not a moth desk. Oh, the moth desk is up here. Edix Liminal, what have we tested? Time for me to run. Thank you so much for giving me a glimpse into this game. Very helpful. Have a great rest of your stream. Oh good. Thank you for thank you for stopping by. I'm glad I could be of some, some help in in terms of insight into the game, and yeah, you have a good day, mate. Okay, um, I wonder actually, could I could attempt to try and chase up? It's because the secret threshold. Oh wait, if I do a secret threshold with this, I could. I think secret threshold is a slightly stronger knock memory, isn't it? I could bring Shaft into this. Yeah, I could use Shaft and then generate a memory of Pattern, and that should hopefully get what I need. In the meantime, uh, let's do some more more walking, I think. We'll use Horns and Ivories for now. Okay. Let's have a look and see what we can do with this. We have a few different options, it seems. What do we get? 
memory is soulless. That's not bad considering we also did we just get that heart? We had that heart book recently. The really cheap one. No, not that one. There was another heart book. Oh, this one, true and complete accounting of sleeping mysteries. That one I think we will attempt to read proper. Question is what um Yeah, the question the question is where's there's a workbench that we can use it on. So I prefer not to read it in my hand where possible. I don't know where we can find just need a desk with heart. Does this one have it? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So one. We use health for this, I think we do. Is that way we don't have to but we have soulless memory actually, that doesn't matter. What can go in there? Ah, stuff that's valuable, that's the problem. I mean at that point we may as well just use uh, just any art skill for that. Yep. Use that to mar to mar to match the mystery of heart. Cool. Hopefully that gives us something good. Now, what else will we doing? We're getting that confounding parable. Speak with Miss Kill again to get the solace memory. Which also has Sky, actually. I hadn't thought about that. So what okay, so let's let's get our setup again. Wait, no, no, we need to go instrument, sorry. Instrument, instrument, instrument. Okay, so we'll go this and this, and then there's our, there's our purifications, then we have the soul card, now we just need one more of something, but if we get, okay, 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 cool, so we can, we can still, we can still make use of that pretty easy. In the meantime, we might just hold on to Soul's memory in case we get someone with a lot of heart. Any confounding parable? There we go. Let's use this harp real quick. The hunter's harp. The most, <laughs> the deadliest harp in the world, the hunter's harp. Okay, uh, memory, inspiration. Bended Harmony. Conjure Bright Sky Music. Let's have a look and see what this makes. I'm really curious. Now, from memory we've already... Oh, we need to go to, like, this thing, I think. Yeah, the Practice Garden Dummy. We need a little bit of... Uh, this has more edge now, doesn't it? Yeah, I should be using that. So, okay, so the tincture, for skull level, for skull level recipe I need something with a memory aspect, and, the, and then I can make a significant edge memory. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Let's also just see who we get next, because I think there's some rooms we have that, yeah, high edge is something we could actually make use of in that sense, so we may not want to, although it is a significant edge memory, so it could be something pretty powerful. So we may want to read on, what was it? Uh, Dow's book two did a memory of contradiction, right? No, not revelation, where is it? Contradiction, there it is. Dow's book three does it. I need a comprehensive guide, Exorcist field manual. A few different books did it. I think it's one of the ones up here. What are the roads, those indignants? One of our Nectar books, maybe? That's a manual I still haven't been able to read yet. Near the Grove, Quinning Medications, The Ascendant. I feel like we've definitely read a book called The Ascendant. Some Containment, Quirinic Meditations. God, we have too many books. An Impertinent Vigilation, Victory of Crowns, Nice Conundra. Oh, there. Wait, no, that's not that's not book two. That's book three. What was that? 
Anything wrong? There is a couple books I have stationed over here. Oh no, maybe I did move them. I swear I did have a book that did contradiction. I just need to find it again. Maybe it's that Debellus Mororum one. Debellus Death of the Moon, Five Level Memory. Sorry, I had a book that did it. Tantras. It's the Scarred Captain, Second Glory, no. There's definitely a book I had. Wayne's Got Histories. In Resonance, no. Exodus Field, oh, that, that's it, Exodus Field Manual. Okay, let's use an Arab to read that and grab that as well. What do we get? A Fugitive. Oh, that works out well. That actually works out really well. Because we can use him to get into... Oh, options for edge-based for edge rooms. Not that one. Not that one. All of these are going to more want lantern. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I don't think we can use edge to get down here. No, that wants nectar. May as well open this one out. Because this is a big hall as well. So there's probably going to be good shit in it. He's hill of four, the hail is three, and then we can give him an er and then we can give him an Arab. And that will get him through. Yeah, that'll be an easy picking. Alright, what do we get? So Fire Sacred Tantra, the one extent excellent copy of this in Western Europe was stolen from British Library. Confessed to the crime claimed to have eaten it with butter and garlic in a moment of ungovernable whimsy. Here in the Great Hooded Princes are shown beseeching the wood to rise and devour an, an invading Tamurid army. The Dapple King, the Honey Tree, and the Sea Twins all deny their request until they enlist the help of a burrowing secret keeper. Burrowing secret keeper. I'm guessing that's, um... Oh, what the fuck is his name? It's, um... The Velvet. It, I think they must be talking about the Velvet. So they recruited the Velvet to help them take care of an army. With the blackmail material from the burrowing secret keeper, of course he is blackmail material. Great Hooded Prince has petitioned the powers of the wood for a second time as successful. One quarter of the Tamurid army is devoured by bees, one quarter drowns themselves, and one quarter disrobe themselves until nothing remains. Jesus Christ. Solutions and separations. Nice, and a memory of intuition. Okay. That's... Which, which book was that again? I completely lost sight of it. Oh, that was the Tantra. That was the Fire Circle Tantra. That's it. Please, let me put it in this slot. But damn it, game. Really want to be able to move these Tantras into these slots, because they definitely look like they fit. I had it for a second there. There it is. There we go. Now they're in, Now they're all in slots. Okay, cool. So... Well, solutions and separations. Fuck, what do I want to use that for? Yes... Could be used for resurgences to get that up. Because that could become our primary moth skill, to be honest. And that would work as well because it's very high grail. And we don't have I don't think we have much for high grail now. We have some stuff that's grail. But in terms of moth, there ain't many else. Because it'd be the rights of the roots. Or transformations and liberations. We already committed this one, so we probably want to do resurgences and emergences. Do we have anything that matches that at the moment? No, so we'd also need the skills for it. We'd need a grail memory. Unless Miss Kill just gives it to us right now. Nope, she repeats the solace. Okay, well let's deal with the fugitive first. So we'll hire him. He's going to need more than that. There we go. Don't worry, I know how to pay my workers. In theory. Okay, cool. He's hired. Let us speak on the weather, dear friend. It's rather ha it's, it's a rather bad hailstorm out today. Okay, so... I wonder, if I consider the Lethe, does that 
too much for me. Probably not, right? Could be used actually really well for the icy bedroom. I just give them the Lethe, they drink it, and then they can go take care of the bedroom. I assume that's probably what you have to do late game. Because you have to use the drinks to boost up other things. But yeah, we definitely want to try and get these resurgences moving. Because then that way I can also... What skills do I have that takes care of witch worms? There was another skill I had for witch worms as well. I think it was the locks. I think it was that lock skill. I think it was up here, right? That one deals with witch worms. And I haven't committed it yet, so I can do that. That could be good. That way I can rededicate it somewhere else. Um, did that just tick over? Yeah, yes it did. Okay, we're walking on the moors, I believe, still. We're getting close to it being done, though. Okay. Something just finished. Ah, oh, the walk on the moors. Are you blank? Getting a lot of wood, surprisingly. What did I get? Oh, yep, so he's exalted. Now we just need to give him an Arab. Collaborate with him on that, and then he'll be ready to go. And in the meantime, I guess technically I have one memory that I can use for that. And I only need one memory for the first step. And I do have Trist available. Yeah, so maybe after I get this contradiction. Oh, contradiction is there. Now, with that, I'll then look to then look to do that upgrade. So where is it? Resurgences. Resurgences plus this plus are my options. It has to be the Grail or Moth. Oh, wait, I have none of those. Shit. Thought I did. Never mind. Any of the Grail or Moth. The Impulse will probably be the easiest one to go acquire. Which book has Impulse? I think it's Traveling at Night, right? Traveling at Night has the Impulse memory in it. I think it is. Yes, yes it does. The Volume 1 does. So I guess I'll quickly read that. Just to get just to get that familiar passage. Okay. Almost he should be ready now. Perfect. Fugitives ready to go. Eight edge. Fantastic. To the dim hall. The wall the halls are hung with weapons. As I say as I essay the threshold, a whisper troubles the still air, and a pair of well hung swords glints menacingly. More of Van Loren's protections. They seem much stronger on the seaward than the landward side of the house. One might begin to wonder if they were intended to protect against the outsiders at all. Yeah, they're, I, I don't know why they're expecting to see like a naval invasion. I mean, granted, they're on the cliff. But I mean, unless this house has like all the little like archer like shooty holes, I don't think it's going to really put up much of a fight. Especially considering there was only really one person. There's only really one person defending it now. Specifically now. Not anymore. Okay, Ascend in Harmony, a bright and ringing music which invokes the true sweep of the lower heavens. And it's persistent. Oh, thank God. Okay, so that. Cool, so. Four Sky. Wow. That's good. That's good shit right there. Hmm. If I get some forge skill, I should definitely look to try and upgrade uh, the disciplines of the hammer, I think, as well. Because the other option would be to un would be to somehow unlearn Menescape Reflections, but I don't know when I can. Okay. That is a really good that is a really good one. Oh nice, we finished this. 
So, descriptions of the Asclepian mysteries reproduced by one Riley Grease from supposedly much older texts, unlikely to be genuine, references house and the wood. This is very obviously not an antique text. At the very least, it's been badly mutilated, but it contains substantial intriguing material. It's actually a persuasive comparison of the house without walls, without doors to the human body with its many portals. Yeah, I could say that. That's a, that's a, that's not a bad comparison, actually, because because he's because I'm assuming he's more talking about like the GI tract. Because yeah, it would be the walls without doors. The direction of death is down. The book explains the peacock door has been considered a rent, an abrasion, but in some respects is more like a mouth, not a more treasured point of entry. Discussions of these of the doors include a rite, which may conjure creatures through these doors, although key incantations missing it was a very yeah it's a very fragmented text oh it also does impulse a lesson of weaving and not working ah interesting well the hard stuff has also been proven to be more in line well we've had a couple of heart Heart seems to align well with box so we should definitely pick that one up yeah we definitely will learn that skill because that will probably be a boss skill if i had to guess and that's very good to know that that's also a very easy um, impulse memory uh, source. Cool. Alright. Yeah, so we'll definitely look to upgrade. Yeah, we'll look to upgrade um, that and then... Oh, hey, gossip. I think that's the only other memory I would have needed. That's out of impulse. Maybe I can make use of that in another stage. Meantime, though, we can collect our impulse again, and let's do some and let's upgrade. We'll get this. Uh, we'll use. What's the memory you just got? We we'll use the gossip memory for this because I want to save moth for something else. Okay, and then we'll take the lesson of the solutions and separations. And then we'll use. Yeah, we'll use Arab for that. We can still make use of FET for some other things later. Cool, that will take that to level 2. Fantastic. Uh, I'll just keep speaking with you, Miss Kill. Okay, so what So what, So what? what stuff do I have now that can be considered Bosk? There is the Spices and Savers. Which can become a very potent forge thing, and arguably would be better. I could I could upgrade it if I can somehow remove this. I hope that it. I hope that there is it, there isn't just like that one single season to do all the changes. Talia Brulo. Okay, interesting. Also, wow, yeah, this place has a whole bunch of weapons, and what looks to be an attack range. The Dueling Hall. In baronial times, this was a ballroom. In the 19th century, during Berlo's time as a librarian, a dyad of eternally dueling edgelong agreed to stay at Hush House for a year and a day to allow Natalia to study them, if she satisfied certain conditions. Properly equipped space was one of those conditions. Ultimately, the business turned out to be a trap or trick played by one or both of the dyad, and they left after only a single battle. The names are recorded as Mistress Dear Day and Father Torg. Interesting. So the practice equipment still the best place in the house to get hurt. So what can I do? Action, which is specifically elements of the soul and recollection of the memories. Okay. And there's a few different options. A bunch of practice swords, which are made from wood. I can rend so I can rend them down. Future. Oh, we'll get a tin spintria and winding stair. There we go. Add it to the collection for now, since I'm not going to be since I can't read that book yet. But my God, this place has so many different things in there, in here. A whole bunch of wall mountings, a whole bunch of paintings, a whole bunch of stuff I can break down for wood. This is wild. What does this room need? Oh, oh wow, this is an, this is an easy one to do. The rattling bridge. Each time the wind makes its round, the whole bridge shakes. On its threshold, there's a serpentine knot mark in brown wood, in brown blood. The mark is fading, but it still trembles at the power of the spirit that waits in it. 
great servant of the old house, perhaps the, la the last of the fine takers themselves. I must pacify with a suitable offering before I can pass. That's really good, because, like, Miss Kill is... She's Grail. So if I give her the soulless memory, then she can... Then, yeah, she can, she can easily knock that one out. And just get us to the next area. I'm curious to see what it, what it will be. Okay, cool. Resurgences and emergences is a little higher level. Let's learn this one, the weaving and not working. And now... Now this kill's done. Cool. So now we'll speak with her and we'll exalt with... Solus. Very well. Yep, so I'm feeling like the strategy is, assuming that Numa is actually the season where you can change things, my guess is that you basically design, you basically aim for everything to be done in Numa, and then, oh cool, there's a whole bunch. I need three leafies, holy shit. Yeah, so my guess is that, yeah, my guess is that you save up the persistent memories to use them all in Numa. Because that's when you can do a whole bunch of respecking. Um, okay, now where was that? There was a knock metal I had I had placed somewhere. Wish I could know where it is. Knock. Knock. What's that? Oh, that's flush. Okay. It was up here. I think I moved it. I must have moved it somewhere strange. Because I know I definitely had some... I definitely put it somewhere, I just don't remember where. Unless it's in the... Unless it's in this fucking basement or other shit. I don't think it is. Oh, it's down here. It's down here. There it is. The Gervantite. Or the Gervanite. Yeah. Okay, so we could... We could try and make use of it. The question is how would we use it? Because... So we don't have a lot of knock memory, but we do have a lot of shaft and we do have our... Lockbox and clockbox. And from memory, I think we've looked into what our... Yeah, because we used it to make the Gervanite. What is this normally... What is the other option you can use? It can use Sky. Huh. Okay, what are my other options? Horns and Ivories can also work here too. Of which we haven't gotten to 10 yet. But we could... If we used... If, funnily enough, if we used the Enduring Reflection, I think. What does it need, though? It needs an egg. Of course it needs an egg. Now, we do have the egg in the kitchen. There is also the skull. Well, why can't I put it in here? If it needs an egg, how am I meant to get an egg in here? Because there's a there's stone metal or glass, and then it needs either a liquid or a fuel. But if I can't fit the egg in there, then how am I meant to do that? Okay, I'm I I need, I really need the bathroom, so um I'm just gonna just gonna quickly pause here, and we'll I'll be back in a few minutes, real quick.
All right, I'm back. Okay, let's see. So now, okay, so if we can't... What, okay, so what classifies as an egg? Because it counted the skull from this little section as an egg. Can you even see the glow? Just barely. What else could count as an egg right now? Not much that can count as it, right? Unless there's something else up here that counts. Oh, there's there's more there's more skulls up here. Hmm. But you can't. But okay, that's very weird. Because that means that we need we need a space that an egg can go in, which I assume would be a cooktop, right? It's not. It has to be a workstation for eggs, but I can't imagine where it would be. Like, my mind goes to... My mind goes to a stovetop. But clearly they have very loose definitions of what the fucking egg is. Okay, I, I have not a fucking clue. Oh, we're resulting you, right? Yes, okay. So we'll have so we'll have the bridge done in a little bit. I'm hoping that means we'll get some new things showing up. We're even not working. Ha! It is Bosk. Oh, of course. Thank you, Valentine DeWolf, for the amazing description of he 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 he. Okay, well that's not bad as a Bosk skill, because uh, we do have... Okay, so we do technically have a heart Bosk skill already, but this can account for more. Because... Let's think. Leaves and... Thorns. I feel like I'm gonna have to make a choice between whether I whether I focus on leaves and thorns or whether I go something else. Because what are we already dedicated to Bosk? We do have what is taken already, the nectar, which I'm which I know I should probably work on. Because we barely looked into what that can be used for at this point. Because I'm guessing, I'm guessing we barely looked into like any of the crossing recipes for it. Yeah, we definitely haven't looked into any of the crossing recipes for it. Okay, so what do we want to do? We've got, we've got some stuff we can work with. We've got some trays, we've got some waste. We can... We can look to try and do some... Do a little bit more upgrading of the resurgences, maybe. Because honestly, like, okay, how many boss skills do we have now? I feel like we have more than nine. One, two, three. F One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we've got most of got most of the key ones we want. We just need to figure out how we want to play this. I mean, it's okay if we exclude Henevec because it's a language skill. I don't know how I don't know how useful that's going to be, especially since Horns and Ivories is our better one. So probably the thing I need to debate is whether orchids and narcotics is better than. Leaves and fawns. It's going to be the big debate. I feel. Okay, let's get Miss. Let's get Miss Kill exalted. Thank you. Now let's get you to take care of the threshold bridge, or the rattling bridge rather. Oh, it needs an ink. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Isn't this technically an ink? No. There's some sort of ink we made. I guess we wasted that memory for nothing. Um, I have like a small ink I can use. That's like not... I guess, yeah, minor ink of power, we can work with that. But I don't think we have, I don't think we've crafted any ink previously. We've just found some. 
And some of these are quite valuable inks, so I don't want to burn them just to break a bridge open. Because, yeah, there's even the Yugol ink. Did... Wait, did I have a thing that made Yugol ink? I feel like I did. In which case, I don't want to waste the, uh, the pre bit, so let's... Let's actually use the Yugol link then. Will it accept Yugol link? No. No, but so I have to use. I have to use this. I have to use this instead. I'm definitely not using the Asartine because that's an amazing. It's an amazing ink. But this, if it's a minor ink, then that should be fine. So that'll unlock that. What? How do I want to make use of like half the memories I have then now? Because I don't think we can... The only way we could upgrade this is if we somehow got another moth memory. It would either be another moth or another grail memory. We definitely have the stuff for it, because we have the tryst. But we don't have... We don't have the moth. We don't have the moth, we don't have the grail. And this has neither, which is unfortunate. Definitely want to try and get this to level 3, because then that means I can move away from other things. Like, especially getting rid of the surgeries and exsanguinations, because that will now be rendered useless. Especially because... what do the infestations need? The infestations, I think, need... do they need moth or they need heart? Or is it... you have which ones? Seven winter. Which I think neither of these have. Yeah, this is no winter, so but that's fine. That's fine. We can work for that. Okay. Um. What do I even want to do? Don't think I can use my shaft for anything yet. Uh, I don't want to burn through some enduring memories this early. Well, what do I want? I, I mean, I guess I could tr start opening packages. That could be another option. We still have plenty of packages around. Yeah, I'm not doing much with Shaft at this point, so let's just... Let's just look at what's in there. In the meantime, I'll put this back. The table. God, there's so much Solomon's preparation seen around. Which is great because great because it means we can start working on some of the bounds where winter is a big issue. Okay. Um what is going to be the easiest strategy for making these worth it? I feel like just trying to go for another moth memory might be worth it. What memory options have a little bit of moth in them? There's only one. God damn it. I want some mice. What the fuck is this? Has to be considering this specific candle, which makes it really crap. Inside taste, touch, sound. Also memory of loss, which is another one, okay. So none of those unfortunately are of any use right now. Is there really not even like a book I could read? I've got like 10 moth there, but... But again, two and two, it's two, two and four. Honestly, do you know what? I'm actually... I'll actually take the risk on this. Oh, I need to go to a moth table first. That would help. I may as well attempt it. If I get hurt, I get hurt. I'm not too worried. Uh, especially if it's like one measly tryst. There's my Sacra. Grab the... Where is it? There it is, the shears. It's at 9. I've got pretty good odds, at assuming that it doesn't bug me, somehow. And I still have the fetch ready in case I get what I need. 
do the upgrade. Although somehow I doubt I'm going to get it. I need more I need more like the knock based stuff to make this work. Memory of foresight. Less helpful, but sure. Do I have anything I could do with Forge at the moment, actually? I do have this, like, powerful essence. I think we've already tested all our hieroglyphics, though, right? Yeah, yeah, this this will only make the essences. Uh, the spices, though. Um, we want to get to 10. We have some spare Westcott sitting around. Where do I have the Westcott stored? Oh god. You hit too many camera buttons at once, it, it does not get happy with you. Westcott's compounds. And I just need a solution of some kind. Like maybe... Fuel. What's a, a decent fuel I have on hand? I'll definitely put the substance in there for now. Something marked as fuel. I think you're technically marked. I mean, you're marked as light, not as fuel. The wood's marked as fuel, isn't it? Oh, these count for fuel too. They're not very strong. I think it's just anything that can burn, right? This also counts as fuel. Oh, that's turpentine, that's why. I'm wondering why it's like, oh, turpentine can count for fuel. Oh, the paper counts as fuel as well, which is less useful. Looks like it's all just wooden paper. There's one other thing here. Beeswax, yeah, definitely not using that. Because the only other one would be the Lignum Vitae, and I kind of really don't want to use that because that's a very rare, very rare wood to get my hands on. Well, this counts. Oh, but it's not nut either. Okay, so... Basically boil down to having... having this in there. So, like, let's just have a peek and see what it would be if I was to use it. This plus the metal. This also does iodic, okay. Good to know at least. Um honestly, should I just make more Westcott compounds? Because I feel like I feel like it's kind of a very useful thing to have. The only op option I could think of is just other tools, but even then I don't know what specifically I'd want to do. But I think I've tested this, right? Yeah, bit of black salt. We haven't tested the moth element, though. Of which we don't even have a moth memory to work with. And there's not much else I can use Forge for unless... I investigated the... I investigated the forge side of this. I wonder if I... Oh, what, what, what will this give me? If I was to. No, a bit of lack. I need a metal. Is there a metal I have that's got forge in it? Does the little freaking purplish metal that I had earlier do it? The camera does not help me here. I don't think I have any metal though. Have to go scanning for metal. I don't think I have a lot of it though. Yeah, I don't think I do. Like scanning through everything. Nope, I have like basically no metal. Unless unless the weapons room has them. No, they're all they're all practice weapons, so they'll all be made of wood. Yeah, no, we've got like fuck all for metal. Okay. Well I'll figure out plants as we go. In the meantime, uh we might actually get some more aisle water. Oh, 
like it needs core or the other thing. Um, what's this currently doing? Oh, it's going through packages. Cool, dusk has fallen. Is there a memory we want to keep? Intuition or contradiction, maybe? Honestly, contradiction might be a better one to keep. Oh, no, if it's not a memory I can keep, actually. We'll keep, keep the satisfaction then. Keep that going till the next day. Because we might be able to make use of that. And then, but yeah, I think we think we just use the rest of our element to either cat catalog books or just continue examining parcels. Because eventually something good has to come out of this, right? Oh, for God's sake, really? You gave me another fucking package? Okay, fine. Open, open package number two. Something small and rare. It'll be worth it. It'll be absolutely worth it. I just didn't see what was in here. Vest Vestibulum Transitus was the very ne was the very name the courier gave this structure. Before that, it was the Valentine's Bridge, a sheltered crossing which which ba Baron Valentine's solitude was assured. Oh, interesting. They just have a year tally just sitting on their mantelpiece, huh? Fair enough. Fair enough. All these little, like, individual sconces, too, and a million other things. Oh, yeah, these are these have stupid high requirements. They're going to be insane to break into or to clear out. A lot of good new books for cataloging, so can't complain. The things are ticking away at the moment, so... I guess in this sense, I'll start moving... So I'm moving books across, I think. Start getting them into... Getting them into spaces. Or we wait for other things to finish up. The joyous work of carrying of carrying every book known to man across to its relevant space. A break, all the memories are lost. But we've got our satisfaction back, so can't complain too much. We get a gale, huh? Oh, okay, that's not bad. A lot of sky, a lot of heart. I can work with that. Let's just hope we get someone good. Uh, what does Shilling give us? Gives us the Orchid Keeper. But that means that they're usually only two Nectar, one Heart. That would take fucking forever to get them, to get them up. So, we don't have a lot of money left, I'm also realising. So I'm wondering if it's even worth chasing up Pyres at this point. It may actually not be. Until I have more money. I need to wait for the page for the pay to come in. Either that or I start uh taking on work. Okay. Um Oh, cool, it just broke it down. So this material. Fair enough. Okay, so what do we want to do? A few different options on the table today. Let's just quickly check first. This is oh, so this is how we can make more Yugo link. And this made the cordials instead. And I'm guessing we didn't look into any of the rights of the roots. Oh, this also makes Yugo. It's made Yugo. Whereas this made the Tis Oh, and this made the Tisane, which is less less of a Concern. Tangle Brag, I'm trying to remember what that is. That's the little, like. That's the little green thing in the bowl, right? Yeah, this one, which is all moth. Moth material. Okay, so. There's, there's a few options flitting around. We just have to figure out how we want to approach. I mean, we're in good, we're in good stead for a few things, so actually, let's just, let's just have a peek. Let's see if there's anyone that's actually worth hiring. Because if we get someone with like a huge amount of sky, we could probably crack open one of these, right? Yeah, because this only needs nine sky. Uh, did this need sky? No, that needed nectar. There was definitely a few options available to us. Okay, so in the meantime, this is still counting down, so we're waiting to crack open that container. This kill will be acquired in half a second. 
Just speed that up a little bit. Speak to her again. Hope that we can get some new memories that might be of use to us this time. Okay, what was in there? Oh, a flash moment. Another one of these. These can be used in a couple of interesting places, especially for that high grail content. I'm actually going to put this one over by the... I'm going to put this one over by the workstation. Because we might be able to use it in some facet. Because we can put anything woven in here. Because say if we put... We can't put Arab is the only problem. I don't even put Desires and Dissolutions in, god damn. Can we put in here, even? We can put you in. In, less valuable. Anything with Grail that, like, we could put in. Not really, unless the Great Signs... The Great Signs can go in. And then we would just need a Grail Memory. Yeah, we'd need a Grail Memory and... Something else. What else can go in? Uh, Grail Log, Grail... Pools, maybe? I don't think there's anything dead that has Grail in it. Any remains? No, that's a heart in a jar, so that's a definite no. The tincture... Phosph phosphorescent scrapings. Yeah, definitely not that. I don't think we have a lot of remains, to be honest. Because we had a bunch of animal bones and they all vermoosed. Unless there's something very specific I missed. Cordials. The desiccated witch worms. Scaptoon thing. The Ickle Muriel. Guess not. Yeah. Oh, well, well, we'll find out what we can do with the doll later. In the meantime, I kind of want to do some more cataloging because some of these are like rarer books. Like, we've barely seen any of these Dawn Period books in a while. So let's see if we can crack one of them open and get something good out of it. I'm trying to think what else we can potentially use the Gale for. We could use it for against Vitruvius, but I think that's kind of a waste of what we have. Especially because I think with... Yeah, we could kind of just do that now on our own. Because yeah, I could just do this plus Faust plus... Uh, where is it? Yeah. Purifications. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. That just clears the book. We just need a few different different tests. Okay. Give me something good. Did you seriously just give me another memory of satisfaction? Are you kidding me? Well, that was arguably a waste. This is almost done, I think. Oh! I'm stupid. I completely ignored this. God damn it. I completely forgot I was working on that book. Well... I guess you sit on the shelf another day, because I'm just completely stupid. Completely forgot about that book. I was wondering why I was hearing tickings. I'm like, oh, that's what's happening in the background. What's this? The Book of the White Cat. Stories brought by a blind white cat, Penelope of Gordian. 16 Sky. Good fucking lord. Okay. What, what do I want to consider? You have a few sky skills, but none. These are sky, so we could upgrade stuff that does have sky to it. Sacrilimii. Not Bosk, though. That's the only problem, and it's already committed, so I can't change it. What do I want to upgrade? Neither of these are Bosk, so none of those have fancy me. The Anapari isn't. This isn't either. 
And the only ones that, yeah, so the only ones that are of value are these ones, which are Bosk skills. Okay, so... Probably we'll want to try and pick up a couple things. We also need to see what our hired help is first. So let's do... Let's open some more boxes. I think there were some up here from memory. We did this one. There was a box here that I think I opened as well. Must have, right? Yeah, Gideon Dwarf's there. I think there's another box. Bucket of seawater. Bucket of ashes. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some stuff in here. A box of oddities and a box of rarities. Open another box of rarities and see if we get anything good out of it. Something small and rare. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, and we should do... Um, yeah, we should beachcomb today. And one of our trysts for that. So we're not doing much else with Trist right now. I don't think we have a lot of heart books either, do we? The Realist Painter, Moth, Moth, Grail, and Rose. Do need a seven Moth. <clears throat> Sorry. But we could, so probably the easiest thing we could do is... Uh, she's a painter, so... You give her the Leith, right? Because the Leith is drinkable. Yeah, the Leith is drinkable, so we'll just give her the Leafy, and th and that just saves us on using our other elements. Because we can craft Leafy. Now that we know that we can craft Leafy, that's not an issue. Oh, gossip memory. Don't mind if I do. I had the painter. Yeah, we will hire you for a day. Go. Okay, some sixpence. We have just enough for one more hiree before before the next period. Okay, so let's give you this drink. Nice drop. I can offer my assistant something to drink. This is going to this is going to boost her out of a fucking skull in a second. Another place. Ooh, hold on a sec. Could actually use her instead. Save on the Lethe. We exalt with memory. We exalt and we collaborate with Bet, and we can actually get into here. Which looks to be. I'm curious what that is. Well, let's, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do a much higher tier investigation. So we'll exalt you this way. Um, okay, so what else do we want to work on? Do we have anything we can work on at the moment? Currently reading a book. And we can't read that yet. We could work on Shapt and Knock, but we'd need a pattern. Probably, yeah, we could read one of these to get a pattern out of it, though. I think Advice and Containment gives us one. Yeah, and buy some containment will give us one. So yeah, we'll just read that. We'll just read that, get that, and then we should be able to read another another Tantra. Just slowly stock up on more and more uh, books. Until we eventually get sick of them. But I mean, that's a long eventually. We can wait a fair while before we get sick of them. Lethe here. We'll keep on keep a hold of the Xanthotic Essence and, and so that if we figure out an idea, if we could use it. I think they can also make use of pigments too, or at least the artist can. Cool. Speak to you again. Ah yes, they can make use of pigments. Okay, uh, now we'll give you the FET. the nine. Hmm. Okay, so if we're looking, so we got the memory of satisfaction. We have this lesson ready to go. The thing we need right now. Oh, hey, just more desiccated witchworms. 
The thing we need right now is just a second grail memory. Of which the only other one would be to get another gossip memory right now. Right? We need to be that or get another moth memory. Well first let's do the Let's first do the pattern. First get the pattern memory. So we can make use of a couple things. We'll put the witch worms over over here somewhere. Place it on the table. Next to the xanthotic essence. And hopefully they don't contaminate it. Which I mean they probably wouldn't unless something really crazy came up. Cool, you're exalted. Go ahead and go through the squawkful logia. Birds crowd every corner of this place, glaring at me with malevolent yellow eyes. Guano cakes the walls and feathers drift the floor. Something has drawn them here. will need to be dealt with. Once it has, the place will take an awful lot of cleaning. It's fine, that's why we have an artist. They they know how to clean up a canvas, they can clean they can clean up some bird shit. Okay, um What are our other sky skills? Assume there's certain skills we can make use of here. I'll actually put that there firstly. Need inspiration from another source. Of which we don't have anything else for Sky. We're slightly off unless we re recover our post. Okay, so what else could we do then? Have we explored much of what we can do with Winter? I feel like we have, but I could be wrong. We still need to figure out what we can do with Inks of Containment outside of what we've tried previously. Oh, but our Wist is down. That's the other problem. And we've already found out how to make Solomon's preparation from it. Still these. I don't know where these come from. These have to be something specific, but I have no idea what. Like what? Re what other recipe do I need? Do I need them? Do I need a minor ink of power? Is that something very specific? Like if I take someone's preparation, put my metal in here, put the inks of containment in, put someone's preparation. No, that's not what I want. Take that regret memory. Won't even make Solomon's preparation. No idea what it wants me to do with it. Okay. What can even... I guess we'll just keep opening containers and trying to get memories and we'll find... piece together other ways to do things, because I'm struggling to come up with a plan here. Is there flowers that I want to collect? That would be another question. Sea Holly is not that strong. Sea Blessed Pears... What does Sea Blessed Pears do again? Wait, they're not, they're not the greatest. We already used our, like, oh, we already harvested, like, our ultra good pears. Where should I put that polar pit? There's the, okay, we're, oh wait, we are in autumn, so we need to keep that in mind. What are the autumn flowers? The pears are, are summer and autumn. I don't know if there's any other flowers we can collect in autumn. Flat, there's the plant only flowers in winter. Fragrant chalice. It's actually not a bad one. That might be good to pick up. Yeah, I might pick up the Fragrant Chalice because I'm pretty certain that's um, Grail. We want to make use of that. Okay, what just finished? More Mackerel. What's the other thing that finished? Oh, the reading of this book begins Vitruvius. 14th century treaties on ethnic mechanics and parahydraulics by Abbot Renault, best known now as a Mason architect. 
and Ralph describes how he tested some of these techniques in the construction of the Winter Tower, now called the Long Tower. He admits to unexpected consequences. Oh no. He mentions that the Tower of Ely Cathedral collapsed around the time the Winter Tower was completed, although he stops sort of short of suggesting that one was the cause of another. Tower falls, a tower rises, is all he'll commit to. It sounds like he was a bit lax on other things. Oh hey. Oh for fuck's sake, we're gonna get we're gonna get a second memory of patterns. God we're gonna lose this one. That's a little frustrating, but sure. Unless I start this like basically immediately. This is mastered, so we'll put it on the mastered shelf. Because it's this book, right? Yes. So we'll take Lockworks. Take. Oh, wait, we need the. Let's see, we need the right workbench, which I think is this one. No, not that one. Which one has knock in it? You don't. I think it's. One of these desks has it. The, the Vagabond's desk. That's it. Okay, Soul's Labors. We want our shaft. We want the lockworks. And we want the pattern. Oh, and that will open up that book. Vector Mundo. Now we'll have a, and now I have another pattern memory for other uses. It's great. Now we haven't completely wasted reading this book again. Now we have two patterns. Okay, so now oh, we have so many options. Clockworks and Clockworks is basically the same as this. Which is a little frustrating. I wonder if I should commit one of these just so I can check that it's not going to be something super important. I have a feeling it won't be. I could be wrong. What are the options available right now? Not many. Again, because these are both sky and other things. And I don't think a lot of the Bosk stuff is sky. Nearly none of it's sky, I think. Well, then Tide's not sky, Spices and Flavors isn't sky. That's not it. I think near none of them are sky. Yeah, none of them are. Okay, so we'll definitely look to try and focus on upgrading this, which means we need memory of impulse. So impulse we need you. Let me just double check this before I make a mistake. We have the memory of satisfaction, so yeah, we just need the memory of impulse. We'll use Arab for that, since it's still our weakest stat, and we need the Trist in order to upgrade. Because this is Moth, yep. Okay. So now we just need to figure out what to do with health and metal. Metal, I think we can... Put on the back burner, unless there's something specific with Edge we're going to make. Because what's the tincture again? I don't remember what the tincture does. It's over here. This two edge tincture, which is not much. Because even with the tincture, I don't think we can get anywhere close unless we get another contradiction. And we can't and we can't tackle this book because of the witch worms. Cordials. Compounds. Again, we can't make much of any of them, unfortunately. I mean, we could maybe draw up some water. That might be good to do. And then maybe we just use our metal to do... to open up this last box, maybe. That would be good. Let's just slide this mackerel across a little bit so we can just keep all our mackerel stacked in a single spot. I just need to at some point figure out how we want to use our cat. Because the cat's also got Grail. 
Heart mm -hmm. It's also got heart and moth, so I might want to check what the uh, what some of these marks have. Moon and moth, moth and scale. I might have to recraft a salt sign because I do not remember the salt sign stuff. And again, we still have no no like use for this yet, which is frustrating me. Feels like we're trying to chase just very specific memories. Oh god's sake, you gave me that again. Yeah, I'm getting like super frustrated. I can't figure out a plan. Can I take actually better call? Because they've said that they've added like ways to see what you need to do to improve the papers. Can I see that yet? If I have an ink. Okay, so grab an ink for now. Just any ink will do. Okay, so I just need... Okay, so I just need 20 of any aspect. I need a suitably potent soul memory and skill and an ink. Means I need something very good. Oh, that's going to be a lot to chase. I mean, being able to get Ascendant Harmony met things like this could be really good. Because, I mean, with the Harmony plus, plus the Purification, I can already reach 10. It's going to be the others that's very hard, and I don't think we have a lot of... We do have one Sky Ink, which is this one, which is a Minor Ink, though. Maybe there's a way to get, a str get stronger inks. Oh! What? I restored the Sanctuary of the Last Baron to Wolf. I got an achievement for that. What on earth? Was this his Sanctuary, maybe? Goldscry Logia. When Baron Valentine's Melancholia and his Accusus became too much to bear, he began to take his meals here. With none of those sounds that he found troubling. Only the wind, the sea, and the cries of his beloved birds. After the Dwarfs were gone, the Librarians of the Curia would come here... And they needed to think in peace. So it's a quiet space. Oh wow. This is very unique. Oh companions. Cooperative companions can come here. And you can use paper. And you can use pigments here. Okay, okay. This this is an interesting this is an interesting little crafting area. I can make use of this. What's this? Amazel. Silver ink that can only be made and used in dreams and ink of revelation. This could be promising for chasing a um could be very promising for chasing a uh a dream dedication or a moon dedication rather. Cool. Oh for fuck's sake, they gave me impulse again. Son of a shit. Um another thing I can use. Moth 4? I don't think so, though. Unless there's, a, like, a nectar recipe I want to make. I don't even have the elements for it, because all of it basically needs either Arab or Health. I guess I'll just use my metal to work on, um... to just earn some money. I can get some sixpence. I'm not completely broke. Can't believe Miss Kill just basically piggybacking off all the shit I'm reading. It's now with these two, right? Yeah, with satisfaction and impulse, I will have enough to essentially guarantee a few different things. This is almost done. Was I reading anything else, or was I not? Oh, no, no, I'm about to have these flowers. That's what I'm about to have. Well. Okay. Well, Impulse returns again because this game loves to poke fun at me. Now we should be able to upgrade this. One. Two. Three. And Trist. There we go. Level three. Cool. We've got a few different boss skills ready to go at higher levels. 
and I don't think we have much in terms of don't have much in terms of drinks for recovery or anything. Unless I want to drink Ashatine, but I think that's a really terrible idea. What an egg. Oh, there's a viper egg here. Didn't even didn't even think that was possible. Can I put that in the forge, actually? I guess it's probably no. Yeah, no, I can't. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to put the viper egg next to the chicken egg. Just so I know where both of those fuckers are. And good. Oh, revelation. That's always nice. Um... I have no idea what I want to do with half the shit I have. I mean, I have no elements of the salt left, so... I'm basically out for, out for good for today. It'll be whatever I can gather. Okay, cool. There's the flowers I wanted. There's grey ones. Just gather what we can, run out the clock, and then... move into the next stage. Put some slime ones prep there. Okay, level three. Oh, now we have a four moth skill that can do witch worms. As soon as we can, we need to get rid of the surgeries and exsanguinations. Ah, cool, and we got our water as well. Pitcher of Isle water. It's very scattered across multiple different things. Didn't realize that at first. Okay, put the pitcher here, and we're good. Anything else ticking? I think it's just this now. Oh, unless there's something else. Oh yeah, we did a little bit of work. That's what we did. Cool, so we're at a half crown. Yep, so now it's just basically this book, which looks like it will be done right about now. Yes, it is. So what do we get? Memory of the pattern and... Oh, more Edix Liminal. Uh, it's less useful for... For now, but I mean... Okay, so the Tantra describes the Great Hooded Princess, a dynasty of unclear origin, engaging in prayers, sacrifice, and poetry in order with the Key Serpent, the Crossroads Twins, and the Mirror Queen. Nagi encircles. Nagi arises from wounds. Nagi spares those who are already armed. What is this about again? The outbreak of the Great War, Alexander Sparrow, almost certainly a pseudonym, published leaflets claiming the influence of snake princes in the world affairs. The text called the Twin Serpent Tantra was his primary inspiration. The Great Hooded Princess is described as having escaped from the history of their death to a history where they yet live. The text claims that there are now 108 of them, but in one of the many instances of twinness, before they crossed from their death chronicle, there were only 54. Jesus, that's a lot of them you gotta deal with, especially if they're pissed at you. Okay, so that goes to the completed shelf. I guess I gotta start a new completed shelf. Okay, so it's weird. Some of these have shelf labels and others don't. What do they all do? Oh, they all do now. It's just a matter of... Because if I click away and then click here... Yeah, so all of them have labels. It's just unclear that... That, uh... Unclear how you see them. I thought they were going to be physical things that showed it, but no, you have to you have to actually write it out and then it adds it. Okay, that makes sense. And then the mail orders we won't be able to get because we need to wait till the start of the season again. Okay, well at this point we've exhausted everything we can, so now we just run out of clock. <sighs> Damn. Actually, is there a memory we can preserve? That might be a good call. What memories can we put in here? Pattern, enduring reflection, we could carry the gale over. Is that the most useful one to us? Oh, I can't because it's a, a weather. Wait, so why can't I? Weather memories can't be used in this way. Okay, so it specifically has to be those. Um, I mean, in that case, I'll just take more, I'll just take more pattern, I guess. 
Yeah. Okay, well we've done pretty decent in terms of progress. We haven't perfectly managed to um to make everything we've needed to work, but we found a lot of of new recipes. Things ticking, I can hear it. I don't know what though. Oh, it's that. It's the freaking bed. Okay. I need something. I need something new. Give me like a good weather memory. Storm works. Especially considering how much uh, guy that is. And then yeah, Edict's Liminal, we can... We can use that to upgrade in a couple ways. Just thinking what's going to be the most useful upgrade. Definitely try and gain more Resurgences upgraded, but... For that we'd need what? We'd need Satisfaction. So we'd need Satisfaction, Impulse... Satisfaction, Impulse... Would we, would we use both Lessons then, just to do that? Because at the moment we have still have nothing in in Bosque Fort, right? I mean, the other option would be to start working on getting Rise of the Roots up, so that we can so that we can make more use of it. That actually might be the smarter play. We just need more impulse. So we'll get this kill again. Um. One more attempt at hired help. We can do that at least. It will cost us basically all our money, but oh well. And then we will... What, what other aspect do you have? You have moon. None of our stuff has moon yet. Okay, so then we will look to... Yeah, we'll look to upgrade right to the root so that we can start... Uh, diverting it away from that. And I think... Let me just remember what these things make again. We've yet to find out what the orchids and narcotics are capable of making. Oh wait, no, they make the Lethe. Which was the... That was the... Off thing. Versus stuff we can collect in Numa. Again, these... Neither of these have been committed. My thought is maybe... Maybe, yeah, we break down one of them and feed it into the other. But for now, we'll just get right to the roots going, because... I don't think we can get resurgences and emergences going with what we currently have. Unless we, find, unless we get incredibly lucky. Does it, does it only specifically take memories, I wonder? Yeah, it has to be specifically memories. Ugh. Really makes it tough. I didn't mean to get it to nine then. You have to just like use a shit ton of lessons then. Like if I wanted to upgrade things to containment again. I hope you just need more memories. Oh my god, that is gonna be stupid tough. Okay, well, in the meantime, I guess we'll quickly collect an impulse. Because then we can at least use that to get rights of the roots going. Especially because then we can start figuring out what we can use it for. That's our pattern memory. I'm actually really half thinking whether I just pick up this and just see what it is. Because at this point we have enough we have enough of the others where it's not gonna be a big deal. So maybe we just learn that skill and if it's a dud then say la vie. Uh, more beach combing. Actually, use Magathane this time. Let's miss kill. Give me some good memories, miss kill. Right. What else? What else do we want to do? I feel like. I feel like there are other like smaller memories we can get. Memory of taste is an option as well. Feels like just even finding smaller stuff will be important. Because it still has value even in the smallest places. Oh, memory of fear early. That is real nice. 
Probably do more scale with that. Uh, if we do do scale though, again we only have two skills for that. I feel like it's just because we haven't found a lot of scale books either. So more cataloging maybe on the menu soon. What about these? Oh, the Agul photos are really good as well. As a lot of open abilities. Another painter. What could I do with a painter right now? That needs 10. These need 10, and my god, they need it in high quantities. Was it Moth Grail and. Yeah, no, it's a great. To be honest, I still have also those high, like, heart books. Oh, that's Moth. I'm stupid. I should be doing something with that. Warming drafts up with the heart. That should be pretty easy. It would be a waste of a storm, but... Well, unless... We haven't, um... We haven't looked at the skills yet for... Okay, so Cheerful Deity was... A tune. If I work with an instrument, I can elevate it to something more powerful. Do I have an instrument that's hard? Yes, I have the drum. Makes sense, drums and dancers. Okay, so this plus core plus the storm. Thunderskin's Pion, drum of a heart music. Yeah, that's worth investigating to see what that makes. And there's the impulse memory. So now we'll take right to the roots. Pick one of these. We'll take our impulse memory. We'll use one of our tris for this. Like that. Okay. Interesting, interesting. We can make we can make some use out of this. We still need to find few other things. Hey, memory satisfaction. Fuck well. And what do you have? Your your grail as well. So this would set you up well. We have other rooms we want to explore. The Heart Haunted Room looks particularly interesting because I think that's a linen press. I see in there. This has a series of beds and an overgrown kitchen garden. Could be really good for new plants because that's another way of sourcing if i need to get this to nine how would i do it because she'll start with four we'll have both of these at eight actually what we could do oh oh no 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 i know what we can do we'll use um we'll make a tisane been a while since i made one but i sh Keep forgetting, it is a very powerful tool indeed to have. Right. Okay. There we go, we're bringing one on the way. So yeah, we could definitely look to try and do that to at least get this garden up. Because I somehow doubt we're getting in there unless we get very lucky. Right to the root. It's upgraded enough where I think we could throw it in here. Yeah, because it's now at three. We throw it with health, we can see what it can do. You go into Hingle Brag, we still have yet to find it's undiscovered. Between that, this this also made UL Ink, but also made the Tissane. This made the Cordials instead. I mean we can def we'll definitely be keeping one of them. Rights of the Roots will definitely keep. Orchids and narcotics, I think, will probably be more valuable than leaves and thorns. At least from what I can piece together. Um, okay, let's do another book. While we're waiting, let's do another Dawn Period book and see what it has in it. Okay, what do we get? Oh, we got some contraband jetsam. Fantastic, more things to open up. Memory of Solace. Um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, we're using that for crafting. I was one. I was like, for a second, I was like, where the hell is all my heart? And then I remembered. Okay, so yeah, we're working on the tisane. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go get the overgrown kitchen garden. That will be the most pow That will be the more powerful option. All right, half crown. Get this. Get this artist, boys. Or printer. Well, painter. God damn it. Words. Okay. Now, she can use pigments. Let me remember where half my freaking pigments are. I think they're all in the slot up here. These both count as pigments. But none of them complement what she uses. Yeah, I was about to say, none of these will. I do have extra xanthotic. I think this will. I think the pigments are also here as well. Oh, yeah, the Ikum Aurora uh, also works as well. Okay, that's fine though. So let's use. Okay, let's first exalt with this. And then I don't remember how much the Tissane does, but we'll see. I think the Tissane does two though, if I remember correctly. I want to say it's only two. What do we get? The Road to Janus. The Limian Zurgas takes a series of prophecies regarding the initiates of the House of Silence, which with intricate if unhelpful predictions on their passage to the house. Yeah, that's a that's a book I ain't tackling for a while, because Jesus 18 is nigh impossible at the moment. Alright, well. I try my luck with something a little less exotic. I don't think I'm going to be using much of these for now, unless, unless something in terms of scale that I can use. I don't think so, unless I dig up more animal bones. Okay, let's let's unpack. Let's let's investigate this then. And we we'll use Trist. Something renounced. Oh, that means there's going to be more in it. God damn it! I'm going to have to use two soul cards to crack it open. Okay, there's our Tissane, so it is two. It is two Grail. That's fine, though. Cool. Now we'll use the last Arab. Collaborate, and then we'll give her the Tissane, and then she can crack that open. I really want to make use of um, this seaweed, but... I don't know how I can use it really, because it needs to come in here, right? Because plants can really only be used in here and I think maybe this. I can use plants here. Winter. I use this as it introduces a little bit of winter. So I could basically just make another Solomon's preparation, which is less less useful. We already have half a million of them. Unless I can take Solomon's preparation and make it into the next level or something. Thirteen. Oh, if I can... Oh, okay, okay, hold on. If I can get a... I wonder, if I can get a memory of... What's it called? If I can get a memory of hind, hindsight, I might have a chance there. What is where can I get hindsight? Oblations and iron will do it. Okay, cool. So we'll do oblations and iron in a second. Speed things up a bit. Try and get the most out of this last day. What do we get? The Thunderskin's Pian. It's not a persistent memory, which is a little, a little disappointing. Uh, a song of joyous sacrifice. Okay, but it is a song. That's now what, two songs? And it's a four and it's it does have grail to it, so there's a little bit of it there. So I guess with oh, wait, so if I had that plus okay, if I had that plus impulse. That plus impulse plus plus satisfaction plus 
gossip, then I could get this to level four. That's a lot of luck involved in it. I mean, it would either be that or I generate all the memories on the spot. Um, my, my bed can carry this over, right? Yes. So maybe tomorrow I can attempt that. That might be the, that might be the better play. Because, yeah, I'm about to say it's probably not going to be happening today. And this will have the same level of nectar as this will. We should also probably look to upgrade Pearl and Tide at some point. Just thinking, is there any other skills I'm going to commit? Because it's hard for me to judge. Especially because I've committed so many already. And there's a whole bunch of useless ones I don't want to hold on to. Okay, so she's at 8 now. Now we give you the Tissane. I really want to see if I can make this memory of hindsight work. I really hope you can. Oh, an ambergris chunk. Another one of them. You don't have like a jeweler's table yet to make these worth it yet. So it's a little, a little less useful than I would like to think. Right, so where is it? Flations and iron. There it is. This and we'll use... Yeah, not using much of our first. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do... We'll do that to get our hindsight. And then we'll see if that does anything. I really hope we can get to, to that level. I don't know if they really expect your skills to ever reach level 9. That feels like it's near impossible. Okay, so you're at 9 now. Oh, you're at 10. Cool. I don't think any of these 10s right now. Grail. I think there's a 10 up here, right? No, there's 9s. Yeah, and that hard water dream's not going to be worth it. So let's do... Let's do the overgrown kitchen garden. This place has been surrendered to wind and weed. Bees buzz menacingly. Somewhere, something clucks plaintively. Hopefully there's something good in there, because then I might I might actually harvest it. Because I assume there'll be new plants. Um, this will speak to the midwife's assistants for other things. Um, oh, this is being mastered. Why is that still there? We have, we do have this book as well, this eight heart. Which we could do using, oh yeah, with our memory solace, that's a, that's a pretty easy one to do. Hold on. There's our, there's our desk for heart. I don't think it's this desk, right? Oh no, this desk does do it. Okay, so we'll do this with health plus plus solace plus was it drums? Yeah, drums. There we go. That'll be good. Drops uplift the heart. Perfect. Yeah, and I ha and I mean if we pass up on plants, we still have what one more day of autumn. We should be fine. One more day to gather. We need to. Again, metal does not work too well with what we have. Because we've already seen what we can do with pyroglyphics. Yeah, we've already figured out everything we can. I'm surprised it wouldn't allow me to make candles. But we could make candles. I guess not. We've already found all of these. Uh, what else can go in here? A few different skills can go in there. Orchids and narcotics can go in there, surprisingly. But we're not even close to getting enough Grail in there. We tested Pearl and Tide, actually. That's something I haven't looked into. We do have Fed. Okay, we have tested that. We haven't tested it moon-wise, but 
We have tested it those wise, and I'm pretty certain we've done the same thing for Path and Pilgrim. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We could just craft a salt sign, because I, I don't think we have any on hand. I feel like we... I know that's like a sigil thing. Eh, we'll pass on it for now. I'm just seeing I'm just seeing what we can test in a better in in I guess better tidings. Oh another solace memory, fan fantastic. I'd actually use that to do an upgrade. The question is what will we upgrade? Because Watchman's Paradoxes not really using much of. I mean, granted, we also don't have a dedicated lantern skill, but we haven't really needed one. The only one we would have would be Sacred Solus, which we have, we have kind of dedicated. We could look to upgrade this at least to make it useful. But also, the lantern aspects of these are higher, if not better, than this. And I think we've already investigated what we can do with Sacred Solace. Yeah, because we've got the Parable, we've got the Refulgan. We put the Harmony in just to check. What does it need? If I can add wood, I can use this inside to enchant an instrument. If I add glass. We can turn into something more potent. Again, I don't know whether those are worth at this point. And the reflections definitely aren't. You know, we'll 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 learn we'll learn the uh the glass blowing just to see if that makes anything interesting. I guess we'll speak to you one more time. Just in case a rare memory happens to stumble by. Okay, cool. We've got hindsight. Let's learn me this glass blowing skill just in case. Um, and now, where is it? I think it was, yeah, yeah, back to the table. Substance, solution, memory, twist, craft, nilicent. Clarify the preparation into the encalcitum terminal of nilicent. Oh, okay. Well, let's have a look at this. Is this our first? Um, yeah, this is our first fifteen skill. Let's see what. Let's see this. Two minutes. Oh, I don't care if we go into the next day. I, I want to see what that makes. I really want to see what that makes. Because if that's like, if, if that's like our good Inca power, holy crap, we're on fire. Oh, hello. The kitchen garden. In 1652, Musgrave de Wolf caught a traveling peddler stealing vegetables from his garden, eccentric wanderer who went by Ricardo Mil Milagro. Musgrave's ancestors would simply have hung the fellow, but Musgrave freed seven years' service in the garden instead. When the seven years were up, Milagro had proved his worth as a gardener and chose to make Grand Krug his home. The grapevines were here planted with root stock he carried in his pack. Okay, so we have a lot of options. So grape, so grapes in some in spring and summer, nourishing vegetables in summer and autumn, more nourishing vegetables summer and autumn. But most of them are vegetables, but I'm guessing there might be different ones each year. But that's that's real neat. Oh, and there's a beehive. Bees like barbarians are not to be trifled with. So this is probably where we can extract honey and beeswax. That's real good. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. An infested wine cellar. Something much bigger led here. Ooh, interesting. That could be really good as well. Hopefully that means we could brew wines. That would be fantastic, because my character seems like he's more built for nectar-based skills, which is all brewing. Um, okay, well, at this point I'm not using my metal for anything else, so I'm just going to use it to get some money. Um, our fet is not doing much else unless, unless there's another book we can read. Can't read that one. Can't read that one. 
There is a 10 rows, but I don't think we can reach... Oh, what was it? 3, 3... 3, 3, and 4. Oh, we could. We could actually read it. Uh... We could 100% do it. Dream Reflection. Path and Pilgrim. And plus Fed. And that can master it. Perfect. Let us begin. We're actually doing a lot better than I thought. It's a shame that we had to use the Enduring Memory for that, but honestly at this point it's kind of use it or lose it. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, Edict's Liminal, not really useful anymore. So now we just want to. Wonder, wonder what happens if you were. To, well, oh, you can't. You can't do the evolution unless you tune it. So, never mind. We're gonna say what happens if you fulfill the attunement and then throw it out, but that ain't happening. Um. Okay. Okay. What can we do with any of these? I don't think Pilgrim is Moon, isn't it? I think it is. Okay, I think at this point there's not much I can do. If I have time, I'll use Gaps for something particular, but I'm not sure what. There's a Memory of Solace to wrap up. I don't think we can use for much. I mean, it does give me two memories I can use this for. The Glass Mine and Vessel Crafting. So unfortunately, no, it's not a... Yes, unfortunately it's not a... Uh, Bosk skill. Maybe there's something we can use for it in terms of crafting. There might be something. That bench doesn't do knock though. This one does. You do. I would who take you by the pattern, by the shaft. Okay, you'd make an ampule. An ampule is not. Bad. Let me remember what the properties of the ampule are. It is a glass, and it is two knock. Hmm. But again, is it better than other choices? Hmm. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And if I got it to level two, I couldn't put it in Ethistry. Yeah, I can't put it in Ethistry or Hushery. It'd have to be level three, and that isn't worth it. Especially considering its traits are exactly the same as Lockworks. Okay, so then in that case... This can't be... this can't be upgraded by these. The other traits of this? Sky. What else do we have at Sky? I don't think we can get this up. We need three memories and a lesson. And even then we can't... Do it because you need something that is both. We're trying to get this up. We've got memory solace, and we could use the ascendant harmony. We'd get this to level four. I mean, it's kind of our primary knock skill, so it makes sense too. And it's already committed, so I can't change it. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get it done. Level four. And away we go. Oh. Okay, that's on its way. Can't talk to Miss Kill anymore. Even we can, well, especially not now that dusk has fallen. Right. Now we just run out the clocks on everything. I think our work will finish first. Yeah, this will finish first. Oh, never mind, this finished first. Oh, we're now at level four. Now at level four. Four lockworks and clockwork. I have a feeling that was like one of the first ones. Yep, that was my level one. God damn it. But to be fair, it is a very it's been very valuable for getting me some extra skills. Ah, uh, that's the sixpence. Cool, so we have a shilling for tomorrow. And now we run out the clock. What just finished? Hey! Oh nice, our heart thing finished. Lots of this and gather the lessons it concealed. Uh, remind me what this was again? Compendium of Healing Tissanes. Okay. 
Tatana's family brought, sought sanctuary at Brandkrug, but were confined to the Barber's Tower, as it was then known by the suspicions of the monks, but won more freedom over time. Tatana records his delight on the day he was finally permitted access to Earl Brian's meadow. He speaks very carefully of the blackbird he met in its branches and the treasures of music and history that it, that brought him when he healed its wing. Nice. So, Memory of Impulse and Herbs and Infusion. Ooh. Oh, that's 100% a Bosque skill. I bet you anything. Hmm. Kind of need to know. Because if it is, I need to look to swap a few things out. And I could see this playing very well, considering what we just achieved with um, that. Yeah, let's, let's just acquire it, and we can swap it out later if we need to. That is very valuable. Oh, did I get multiple? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Well, that's useful to know. Okay. A few things are near wrapping up. This needs another 15 seconds. Okay, so we've got fog. Fog is not bad, especially for the moon aspect. Uh, we're still in autumn, so I'm pretty certain this will just be a barber. Oh, this will be an orchard keeper, which is nectar and a little... I don't know how useful that's going to be, though, because everything else is going to need... Yeah, eights and stuff, so very. I don't think it's very useful unless I get... Unless I basically... Let me just check, is the nectar the minor? Was nectar the minor? No, it was the primary, so it would be two nectar. So I could give them that, and then... Do I have, like, a high nectar drink? That's what I should check. Pretty certain I do. Let's make my wines, I can check that. Yeah, most of these are, like, nectar-based. I think the honey is like the richest stuff though. Flower cordial, blackberry jam, slow gin, pale marrow. Mitts. I think the pears were also very value valued as well. A few different things. Okay, well, either way, we want to see these last few processes finish. This book is not going to be ready in time, so we'll just leave that as a mystery for next time. Actually, it's only about 30 seconds. Maybe that's not the biggest deal. Herbs and infusions. It is Bosk. Can be used against corruptions, so that's also good. Bucket, powder it, mix it, warm it, drink it, but not that one. It's a heart skip. So it has the same properties as drums and dances. Drums and Dances had quite a few things going for it, especially especially in the music room, it had some power. Because that was the one that got us the Thunderskin, uh, the Thunderskin's Pian. Definitely want to try and use that to upgrade. Oh, okay, what, what do we look to dedicate? I think we said we weren't going to dedicate leaves and thorn because we were going to dedicate that for objects and narcotics. I mean, we could, but there's too many different options. That does mean that there are definitely a lot more than than nine for each of the different factors. Okay, let's let's let things tick over. This kill comes in. Kill comes marching in. don't think we can get hired work until our paycheck comes through. What do we want to do next then? What do we want to get cooking? I guess we'll quickly do the last dawn period book. We'll just consider it and see what we get. Okay, cool. So now we'll just let these two times run out. So the first is 
What, this is an accustomed terminal, one of the great inks. Use it with your journal to record a history and fulfill your reason for coming to Hush, Hush House if you so choose. Nilly Cant, the Incalstum Terminal of the Third History. It's the bleak white blue of winter. It has spawned an itinerant, an itinerant order of secret celebrants who regard worms as semi-gods who are sometimes called on to celebrate different funerals. Use an Incalstum ink with your journal to make determinations and record histories. The hours listen, the world changes. Okay, so it's a that's a very powerful ink to have. Holy crap. Now the question is, how do we want to get the dedication? Because the closest thing for it would actually be Horns and Ivories. But Horns and Ivories also looks like it's going to be one of the hardest to, to get done. Because this doesn't upgrade with scale. So we basically come down to this ink. I guess if I got the ink plus the Horns, that's 11. With Hell who's 12, Old Moments brings it to 16. Yeah, because I'd, I'd be using a soul skill and a memory, which means I'd need to get Haunted Ivories higher. Because the only other path is Winter, of which I do have a high Winter. What's my highest Winter at the moment? Highest Winter would be Inks of Containment, actually. And we do have the upgraded Wiss, which is 3. So I guess 3, 7, so 10 there. 3, 7, 10. 15 from Things of Entertainment. So I would just need a... I just need to find a high winter memory. Which might be very difficult to do. But I think that's something we'll leave for next time to find out whether that will happen. But yeah, with that though, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. You've been a wonderful uh, audience. For those of you watching the VOD either on Twitch or on YouTube, thank you for your time. I do very much appreciate it. Uh, special thank yous go out to um, to Oz Rules for popping into chat and making it a fun time. I know he's already headed off, but I hope he did have fun. I mean, I'm, uh, I very much hope he did. But um, yeah, with that, let's see who's let's see who's still kicking. That we can uh, potentially raid. I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly take us to end screen while I take a quick look in that direction. There's a few different options I'm noting. Friend Willow's doing stuff. Uh, I know Briar's doing a test stream. I think at the moment. that uh, I mean if, let's just see where Briar is at the moment I didn't even see her on my list what the heck did she just finish it's gonna suck if she just did but actually I was looking to right out to her, but I guess I need to change plan um let's see where let's see where Eden is I guess she's <laughs> I guess she's watching creepy YouTube videos which seems fairly standard for her so you know what yeah let's let's just go raid her why not sure we, we can have a good laugh with some of the, with some of the wacky shenanigans she gets up to right yeah let's go let's go send some love over to Eden she is a sweet she is a sweet and valued bean, and and Lord knows she has a lot of the chaotic energy that we all know and love. So, but, but uh, yeah, with that, thank once again, thank you all for coming out tonight. I wish you all a very pleasant evening, a wonderful start to your day.